Welcome. Welcome into the stream, everybody. How are we doing today? Happy Thursday. I almost said Friday. <laughs> I don't know what day it is. I think it's Thursday. I'm like 90% sure it's Thursday. How's everybody doing today? It is so damn good to see you all for another Tangential Tuesday on a Thursday, which I guess we should just call Tangential Thursday at this point, because it's going to be Tangential Thursday until October. And so we're just, we're living with this fact, because I don't remember why I decided that. <laughs> I don't know that there was actually a reason, but it's happening for the rest of this month. And we'll go back to normal after that. But for now, it is Tangential Thursday. And it is now four streams, including today, for me to finish this case, which I know shouldn't sound like as much as it is, but I am who I am as a person. I make no excuses, but I acknowledge that I am a fucking disaster who cannot actually pay attention to video games, and apparently now my camera is out of nowhere deciding it wants to function. Um, well yeah, it's good to see you all. Hey, my friend, how are you doing? Welcome in, everyone. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and be quick. Before everybody gets super chatty, and it takes us like 20 minutes to get to the game, I'm gonna try and get started. At least if we're tangenting while the game is happening, I have an easier time. Uh, but before we do that, if you like the music you hear in the background right now, do yourself a favor. Go listen to Joshua, aka Reset Vibes. This man makes some absolutely incredible, incredible music. Um, but with that being said, I think we gotta sadly turn Dead off before it even hits the full end of the song. And jump over to here, where I can't curse for 40 minutes. I forgot about that. I really forgot about that. Um, also, fun fact, for those of you who weren't here, we, we figured out what the issue probably is with the capture card last stream. Um, so there will be a solution on the way at some point soon. Any, any money that is given during September here is absolutely going towards a new capture card so I can have a fully functional one so we don't have to deal with this. Hey, Russ! Russ, my dude, how are you doing today? All right, so where we left off, things were starting to get spicy. Um, Mo was called out because we, if I remember right, we blew an absolute hole in Ben slash Trillo's uh, testimony. And now Mo's out here, and I think we're on the second part for Mo. That is so, so very fair and relatable, Russ. How's the work week been? Do you, uh, are you at least almost done with your work day and work week? It was a bit far away, but that shadow could only have belonged to Max. There's no doubting it, especially since I saw his uppity symbols. I know. Blah, 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 silk hat, black coat, blah, 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 rose or whatever the fuck. Oh good, I'm glad the work week at least ended yesterday for you. Hopefully you get a nice, relaxing couple of days. Um, oh, good for you. Good, I'm glad you only have to work three days a week. But I still don't blame you for being tired. I fucking existence is exhausting and I just cursed. Stranger, my dude, it is not Thursday. It, oh my god, no, it is Thursday, it's not Sunday. What is up, stranger? You messed me up. And oh yeah, no, three twelves is... I've done four tens, but I've never done three twelves. That sounds like it has got to be absolutely exhausting. You are correct. It is, it is Thursday. It is Thursday. I, I feel like it is. My phone says it's Thursday. I think I'm losing my mind. The longest shift I did was 16 hours. Oh, and see, I've, I've done a single 16 hour shift too. Fun fact that... Said 16 hour shift is coincidentally the reason that I ended up moving to Texas and getting rid of like 90% of everything I had. We all mess with that. Seven, five minutes of breaks, all standings. Oh gosh. Oh dude, that is brutal right there. His face was silhouetted, but there was no doubt that it was him. His cloak was fluttering in the wind, so I couldn't really see what he was carrying. Hmm. All right. I don't see any definitive holes. Hi, Jasper. You good, buddy? Hello. Y'all, we actually have a Jasper coming to visit. Would you like to come here, buddy? Come here, Jazzy. Are you good? Hello. Hi. <laughs> Most disastrous doggo. You're being sketchy. Did you get into something you shouldn't have? Are you okay? I think he's dying, you guys. I <laughs> Hello, Gizzy stunt double. Are you cold? Is that what's up? It's Y'all, fun fact, it's actually been slightly more tempered 
here lately, so it's it's not. Oh, never mind. Who wants to go on Caitlin's chair? All right, there you go. Would you <laughs> would you like to be covered with a blanket? There you go. All right, I have my tiniest of live audiences here between Jasper and Gizmo. I think we're good. Oh, snap. Now Gizzy wants his turn. All right, now we got a gizzard. Uh, I've gotten close to that before. I'll do it a series of unfortunate events that led me to quit and have yet to return to traditional workforce. You know what? It, props to you for being able to do it, Wibbles. I, after after my 16-hour day, I straight up just said screw everything and didn't work. Well, I mean, to be fair, my 16-hour day happened. I quit my job. I got rid of, like, all of my stuff. I moved to Texas with my family. And then two weeks later, everything shut down due to COVID. So there there were reasons why I didn't work for then, like, nine months after. Um, but it's, it's, it's nice to have that freedom. Uh, how is you doing, Doe Wibbles? It's so good to see you, friend. Did a back, or I did back-to-back -back 16s once in the early 90s at an amusement park. Oh, that sounds like an especially brutal environment to have to do that, my dude. Oof. Hmm. It does seem as if the defendant was at the scene of the crime. It took the clown long enough to get his facts straight. But whatever. This should finally be good enough, yes? What's up, Yeezy? Why, why are you sniffing? Uh, I did it because I was homeless. Lied about having an address just to get some money. Hey, you know what? Fair enough, man. That is fair. It is. Existence is really not easy. Oh, do you want down? Here, you want to go goodbye? Okay. I don't know. Why are you both being so puppy today? You know what? I'm I'm going to go take a peek at something really quick and make sure I know. <laughs> Woo, tanned genitals Thursday. What's up, Breeze? How you doing? Um, let's see here. What was COVID shut down? I have not stopped working since 2015. Oh, I, I am so sorry, my friend. And look at me now. No, wait, don't look at me. <laughs> That's fair. Um, I'm going to go check a thing really quick. Make sure these two didn't get into any trouble. As a matter of fact, they, all right, I, I got a BRB really quick, you guys. I'll fill you guys in on what happens, but Jasper is in trouble right now. I'll, I'll be right back. We're back. Good news. Jasper didn't do the thing that I thought he did. He has this tendency to um, eat Gizmo's poop and then vomit all over the place. Um, thankfully, that didn't happen, but poor buddy is having a tummy ache and did throw up in the middle of our bedroom. So 
That's why he came over so pathetic, you guys. He's going to be okay. He's a very sensitive boy. Um, let's see here. Uh, Tim was just forgotten the trash. We <laughs> a giant steamer on the floor. Thankfully, no to either. We're good. Um, let's see here. Gotten close to that before. All due to a series of unfortunate events that led me to quit. And have yet to return to the... Tr yeah, no. That's all good, Wibbles. We... I don't know why... I. I... <laughs> Twitch is so weird. I was gonna say, why why are you double posting it, Twitch? Why? Um I don't blame you. It, it was a toxic work environment that was why I quit and then also coincidentally left the normal workforce for Yeah, I think it was about nine months, because I quit in February and I didn't work again until like right after Thanksgiving that year. Um just playing real life cult of the lamb. Yeah, and you gotta stop doing that. I'm going to go fight Twitch for you, though, Wibbles. I'm going to go do it right now. It is decisive testimony. Was Max really at the scene of the crime that night? He said he wasn't there. We have to believe in that. All right, Mr. Wright. Come into your cross-examination. All right, come on, me. We can do this. No, I had a whole... Other post typed up and it just was not that <laughs> Twitch, why are you so broken? Because I was going to say, I I saw, like, outside of the content warning at the beginning, the rest of that was the same as your message before. Twitch is, Twitch is drunk. Twitch is absolutely drunk right now. Alright. Let's start pressing on some stuff. And also, once again, we gotta just go for a quick little skippity skippity. Don't you think that you're going a little overboard with how explicit you're being? That shadow belonged to Max is an awfully firm statement, don't you think? What are you getting at? I don't even have that message copied to the clipboard for pasting either. Twitch, what are you doing? Why are you this way? We love you, we appreciate you giving us a platform. Um, but just stop. How about, how about that? Just 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 get it together. I can't use curse words, so I can't use the word I want. <laughs> Libby has clowns on her clipboard. I'm gonna scream. I'm going to scream. Now I gotta type it up all over again. I'm so sorry, friend. Bring it on, though. I'm just saying that one of your fellow performers' life is on the line here. Are you truly 100% absolutely certain that it was Max? I'm not the kind of person who would lie about something as serious as this. The silhouette I saw was Max. I'm convinced of that. <laughs> Wibbles hallucinating, apparently. Doesn't seem like he's jumping to any conclusions this time. Let's go over this again then. What makes you so sure that you saw Max that night? All right. I'm gonna regret doing this, but let me let me save first. Let's press him on this. But I have a feeling it's just going to be the same stupid phrase over and over again. Trillo said the same thing. But if it was just the symbols, then even I could have been wearing them. That's right, I was the murderer! What if someone had just taken Max's symbols and worn them? I thought of that myself! But just looking at that shape of the face I saw, it, it must have been Max! Hmm, you're sure of that? I mean, you say it was in a hat and a cloak. How can you know for sure? Such a silly little boy. He threw his entire case headlong into a trap. And Sean fixed the cell service in our area. I want to talk to Wibbles. I'm so sorry, JD. Who Who is your service provider? I will, I will stop everything and I will go punch them directly in the nutsack, JD. I will do it. I'm gonna fight him and tell him to stop messing with Wibbles and JD's ability to talk to each other. It's disrespectful. You're sure that that is what you saw that night? The service provider is Sparky Law. Okay, wait a minute. So the MLM that Sparky Law is officially transitioning over to is cell service? Because I gotta be honest, that's pretty smart. There's a lot of money in that business. Exactly what I said I saw is exactly what I saw. I've got eyes like a hawk. Um, 
Don't birds have terrible night vision? But that's not all I saw! Alright, what else? Like, you, you say his face was silhouetted. I guess they're re well... Her face is more round and the chin isn't quite sharp enough. He literally got the most pencil face of all people. I don't remember what the acrobat looked like, so it still could have been the acrobat. But I, I don't believe you, even though it's slightly convincing. You were able to see that kind of detail from your window? Password trauma to electric boogaloo. I almost 16 hours happened as a result of my fracas. Store manager dropping the bombshell that he wasn't coming in for his shift, or the entire weekend for that matter, less than an hour before he was due in. Didn't find any coverage, by the way. Mind you, this is during our district manager's planned two week vacation. Also, during our huge store marketing reset, which he took all of the meetings for and took incorrect notes because he didn't like the legit ones. That is an almost unheard of amount of stupidity. And I really don't blame you for just noping out after that, Wibbles, because that is ridiculous. It's <laughs> so a regular day. Oh, what now? There was a light near the scene of the crime, and yet he said silhouette. And that's not even all I <laughs> had the character limit. I, I won't say the specific store that you worked for, because I don't remember if that's something that you've actively talked about, and I do not want to even dox places that you have, or anyone has formerly worked. Um, but said company is absolute garbage. And it, it, it never ceases to amaze me the sheer chicanery that they let happen, and how little they care as an organization. Find coverage if you can't get to work. Isn't that your boss? So it was the boss who didn't find coverage. I said, okay, sick. I couldn't remember. I thought you did talk about the fact that you used to work at GameStop and that was your last job, but I just, I wanted to make sure. Uh, yeah, no, screw GameStop. Like, I, okay, everyone, I need you to promise me right now. You are not going to tell Caitlin about this because fun fact, we, we talked about the thingy that I'm about to talk about yesterday and I may or may not have told her, oh yeah, no, hopefully we'll get it sometime not too long after release. Um, but you got Pinky promise me right now no one is going to tell her this, because this is going to be a surprise for Caitlyn. Um, because we're doing, uh, a new tradition we do is for birthdays, however many presents we have, you get one birthday present a week, all the way up till your birthday. Um, for her it starts next week. Um, what does GameStop should know go here? Um, so I, I went and traded in a couple of things that I genuinely had no interest in. Uh, <laughs> Russ, I promise nothing! Um, good, if you see her kill her, honestly. Um, so it's like, okay, there's there's one right on the way to go see my parents as I'm gonna go check in with them I got more than enough money in trading credit that I can trade this stuff in and I can get Caitlyn the new Legend of Zelda game that's coming out Later this month. Uh, how much are you paying for my silence? I offer friendship. Is that payment enough? <laughs> I promise foolish clownery That's fair um, So it's like sweet. I'll be getting out super quick and easy I don't think I have, you know, she's not, she's at work right now. She is at work. She is very busy because I had someone quit because they had a death in the family and had to kind of drop everything and go elsewhere. Um, so she is, I'm, I feel like it's safe to say like 99% sure that she is not here right now. And if she is, uh, I'm sorry for ruining the surprise, but you now have found out what one of your birthday presents is. So you can't fight me anymore on the fact that I'm keeping it all secret. Um, but what should have been a very quick, like, here's five games, take them, trade in, put it towards pre-order for a game. This, uh, if she is, we lied, exactly. This absolute moron. I was like, oh, you know, I, I want to put this towards a pre-order of Echoes of Wisdom. This moron who, mind you, big old, like, front door window that's right like 15 feet away has a giant fucking poster for the game she looks me dead ass in the eyes i know i have to reset the timer and she goes can you spell that for me and i like i <laughs> echoes of wisdom teeth i i had like 
I feel like it took me a solid five to ten seconds for her to register what she just asked me, because it was like, I, it would be one thing if I was asking you to help me with pre-ordering, like, some niche, smaller, new game. But no, this is a first-party Nintendo game that, again, you have advertisements everywhere, including a solid, like, six-foot window poster. With the name on both sides, so it's not like it's reversed. And they asked me how to spell it. And I, like, <laughs> you're not gonna lie, I've done that to people before, uh, but I have an audio processing disorder and I hate asking people to repeat themselves. Hey, it, she had no excuse! Like, <laughs> and then... <laughs> so I'm like, alright, uh, I spell echoes. And then I pause for a second, because I'm like, okay, you're you're probably going to be able to look it up the rest of the way from there, right? And she like she's still staring at me, just absolutely deadpan, so I'm like, of, OF. And she has the audacity to get snippy with me, and it's like, lady, you have just asked me to spell this game for you, because apparently you can't look at the poster, like, for the fucking, I'm sure, like, 17th time this week to see what the name of it is. And you're gonna get pissed at me for being like, okay, dude, like, do you actually need me to spell this whole thing for you? Like, why is this a problem? Why do you not know what this is? What is wrong with you? So, um, that's, that's the story of me remembering just how much I hate GameStop. Well, just simply trying to do something nice for my girlfriend. Uh, that you wouldn't think she was just trying to type in Echoes of Wisdom without the Legend of Zelda, and the system told her to frick off, you know? <laughs> It wouldn't be surprising. It wouldn't, but here's the thing. She never asked for the Legend of Zelda part. I never once said Legend of Zelda. I said Echoes of Wisdom, because it was like, okay, I mean, she's she's going to know. It's not like this is a small thing. I'm sure they play commercials like a couple dozen times a day for the game, too, because it's GameStop. Um, uh, girl, use your brain cell and engage it for two seconds. Exactly. It was like, oh my god. <laughs> like, I, I was trying so hard not to be rude, because I get it. I work in customer service. I have, like, I literally just work in cheese in a slower grocery store where I don't have to deal with people often. But I get that people stuck. <laughs> I would like to order Mario. Can you spell that honestly? It felt like the same kind of thing. So, like, I, I didn't want to be rude and be like, it's, it's literally the name on the poster over there. But I'd like, I, I genuinely didn't know how to respond. Ah, uh, that's okay. I ordered the collector's edition of Bayonetta 3, and then you got confused, and I said it was the CE. He was like, oh! Went into the back, grabbed it, and was like, is this it? I'm in front of Africa. <laughs> Genuinely. And I'm fairly sure the reason is GameStop pays garbage wages to this day, so that's probably why. But some of the most unpleasant, and I swear, like, brain cell draining experiences I've ever had, the top ones are pretty much always at a GameStop. Uh, hey, what's up, Tier, my dude? How is you doing? Like, there was, I, I think Caitlin and I have talked about this before. Thankfully, the location closed that was closest to us that she worked, which is the point that everyone is friggin' stupid, because I had to fight jumping the counter at people getting mad at me. They couldn't get Mario for the PlayStation. <laughs> People are so dumb. Um, but this lady, like, she went on a solid, like, two, three minute rant while also looking absolutely cracked out of her mind and almost in tears on why we needed to buy physical things rather than digital versions of things when we told her that we weren't interested in pre-ordering anything today. Because they can steal your accounts. They can close your account without any, any warning. You don't own any of that. You, you really need to just get it physical, and it's like, I, I, Ma'am, I'm literally just here to buy a single game for the Wii. That's all I wanted. You guys were the only place around here that actually had WarioWare Smooth Moves now that we have a Wii again. I didn't want to have to deal with you crazy. Can you go away? Uh, do you have insert popular game here? It's so- it's out of stock. It's literally behind you. Honestly, though, stranger. Hey, Ethan, my dude! What is good? How are you doing today, my friend? Yeah, no, I... GameStop really do be... I, I don't know how they exist still. Uh, dang, like, you're right, but that's not the point of today's visit. <laughs> exactly! Like, first of all, I understand. I get that buying a game digitally does not guarantee that at some point my account isn't going to get banned. 
Oh, that there isn't going to be a day where it's like, oh, nope, boop, right's pulled. Um, but here's the thing. I don't care. That's cool. I don't do anything that's, I don't do risky behavior. I'm not out doing things that would potentially get me banned for stupid reasons. I'm just existing trying to play my indie games that also typically don't sell physical editions. So like, can you not? Ah, uh, he's doing good. Just applied for electrician's apprenticeships at two positions at Menards. Hey, nice, dude. Hopefully you get some good news, but that's awesome. So she, she went into the whole rant because we told her that we weren't interested in pre-ordering and if there was a new something that we wanted to get, we'd probably just get it digitally. And then she went on this like, Two, three minute rain. I did that to someone once. Me and someone who I used to be friends with messed with this kid on a COD release, which is massively displayed on the counter between us. <laughs> Told him it was sold out. This kid almost cried. <laughs> I love that, JD. That is phenomenal. Um, but you yeah, know, like some of the worst customer service experiences I've had, pretty much always a GameStop. Like, the, the only other one was the one time where I went into a Little Caesars to go pick up an online order, and the two people who were working at Literal C or at Little Caesars were having an actual altercation in the lobby. <laughs> so I come in while these two people are yelling at each other, and I'm just like, hey, um... I'm here for an order for Sean, so they, they stop their fight. She goes and checks. And she's like, yeah, no, it's not ready yet. It'll be done in two minutes. And then goes right back to getting into the argument with the other person. <laughs> I don't know that anything will top that moment. Um, Little Caesars is a very special place. <laughs> Used to play Guild Wars back in the mid-2000s. Got it from UK's GameStop called Game. The dude is intent. It would require a sub fee, even though the cover has big bold letters. Sub fee's not required. Don't you love how brilliant people are at anything GameStop related, stranger? But a GameStop employee has a meltdown in front of me. I just pull out my notepad, lounge chair, and proceed to say, So how does that make you feel? <laughs> I love it, dear. I was instructed to mock people and ask if they didn't like saving money if they told me no to the rewards card. Chat, she did not follow these instructions. Yeah, no, it's... It's disgusting. The way that they coach their people. Like, the only reason I currently have... Um... Uh, rewards, whatever the... Uh, <laughs> little sleezers, honestly. Um... The only reason I have a pro account right now is because I was trading in a bunch of stuff and the money that I would have gotten extra in that 10% trading credit more than covered the year that I was getting. So I was like, all right, cool. I'm, I'm making money by doing this. So sure, go ahead. Why not? Um, if it wasn't for that, I would not nor ever again do it because it's just, it's predatory and it's stupid. It really is. The moral of the story is I hate GameStop. And also, I'm I'm very excited for the day when I get to actually see one of their new retro game stops that literally just has this one tiny depressing section of used older games. And it's like three quarters of the way empty. Uh, charge them for your therapy services. Uh, yeah, I do three games of my choice for my services. Hey, there you go. Hey, bring on the other fast food nicknames, Russ. I dig it. I like hearing them. Um, the fact that no matter where in the world we are, we all have these stories. <laughs> exactly. It's it's one of those collective human experiences that makes for such a nice connection. But that also really reminds us all that, like, no matter how down on yourself you might be, you know, that like there's some times where I'm like, you know, I'm I'm kind of an idiot. I I wonder if I'm actually like Am I actually a real human being, or am I just a moron who's somehow bumbling their way through life? And then something like that happens, and it's like, oh, you know what, actually, I might actually be kind of smart. I may joke about only having two brain cells, but, uh, I ain't that. Um, if you talk about some string up here in the UK, oh, don't, don't fall for it, stranger. Don't fall for it. <laughs> Toxic hair. Heck, because I can't say that bad word for more times. Ah, uh, retro stores more like sell us fake games so we can sell fake games at full price? Exactly, JD. A hundred percent. A few things I'm willing to whip my peen out and slam it on the counter for when they start getting snippy about the card or protection plans. I have to be like, yeah, I used to work here, nothing you say can make me care. Finish ringing me out. Good. Absolutely good. And <laughs> pizza slut for Pizza Hut. I like it. Like, it always gets me every time like, the, the rare occasion that I'm actually buying a used game. We're like, oh yeah, do you, do you want the protection print? You know, if your game breaks, we'll replace it for you for free for two years. And I'm like, bro, why is that a problem? 
I have lived 30 years on this earth. I have played video games since I was like three years old. I have never once broken a disc, broken a cartridge, done something to make one of my games not function. Why would I ever want to give you like two to five dollars to guarantee that something that's never going to happen can be replaced? Excuse me, hiccups. Like it's, it's moronic. It's so dumb. Oh. Um, Damn next to this guy, I'm <laughs> friggin' Einstein. Honestly, though, honestly, tear. There's a kid being wheeled around in their push chair outside my work today. Uh, Darn thing was screaming like a banshee so long they choked. <laughs> I was amused by the outcome. <laughs> that shouldn't be as funny as it is, stranger. Uh, remember the Pokemon Midnight? That's so. Oh no. Did did you guys tell us that story when we hung out in person last year? So I'm gonna copy the original Final Fantasy VII for PS. Hey, let's go, Russ. Heck yeah. If it breaks, it'll be replaced. It's a download code. <laughs> Pretty much. All right, let me let me try to. Oh no. Let me reset this because we're at that point of delay. Out of curiosity, Mo, what is your eyesight like? Uh, also, by no means do you think that, or should you think that me playing the game means we're not still talking, chat? I can multitask. I just I feel like I probably should try, because again. I got three more streams after today to finish this one singular case. Distraction technique, what's up? And I am distractible, but I really, really don't want to have to look like that. might have to go with titties. I don't want to put that on my face. I refuse. I can see like a hawk out of my left eye and an eagle out of my right eye. Wait, hold on, stop thinking about the clown makeup. <laughs> The clown makeup is forever on my mind until we're done. In my I finish defense, this. <laughs> I'm a moron. That's fair. Uh, maybe I don't remember. Uh, TLDR store manager trying pushing our buttons on renewing my card even after I used to work there. Yeah, you did tell us that story. They're so dumb. Oh, I want to see clown Sean voicing Mo. <laughs> I can't. Uh, quick talk more about GameStop, guys. No. No. Uh, it must happen. I refused here! My records say his eyesight is a perfect 2020. Oh, what? <laughs> choo choo! Dear! Choo choo! Guys! guys I don't even have the 600 gold Dimbling. anymore! Let's go! It doesn't even work! <laughs> I can't! So, Sean, what would you say is the best choice for a sandwich? I'm not falling for it! That's just straight up a distraction technique, and I'm not falling for it. Uh, <laughs> pizza burgie. <laughs> you know, if I remember right, it, it was, in fact, Ace Attorney where pizza burgie was a thing that we made. I got plenty of dumb customer stories. I can bring the idiot populace into this too, don't you worry. Bet. And best choice. Okay, but see, there, there's so many cheeses. There's so many cheeses. It all depends on what you're having on your sandwich. So that's a, that's a generalization that don't work. And I ain't going off on that much of a rant. I'm not doing it. I'm not distracted. Uh, <laughs> all of them are Gouda. Solid cheese bun. That must mean he could have seen the crime scene clearly. Uh, Bree's best cheese for all things I'll die on this hill. You know, it really is a nice versatile cheese. Like, if, if you're a fan of stronger cheese, there are breeds that'll be great for you. There are some that are super earthy, or that even straight up have, like, a similar flavor to a blue because they are so very strong. There's also a mix of both Camzola and Gorgonzola if you do want straight up blue cheese brie. Um, there's some nice, mild, and creamy. It's got a great meltability. Like, uh, honestly, one of my favorite kinds of burgers to have is an apple bacon brie burger. You take rounds of apple, uh, I'll brie as loud as I need to brie. No need to brie so loud about it. Let's picture a sandwich with lettuce, some tomatoes, cucumber, and brown bread. I mean, at that point, I'm going to be honest. I think either Swiss or a Havarti. Something nice, simple, creamy will work for that. Um, but, you know, it's just, like, it's so good. You grill your apple, super nice and easy, get some nice color to it. Gets it nice and a little bit softened, brings out some of the sweeter notes in the apple. My chair is falling backwards. Um, 
crisp up a little bit more savory smoked bacon, whether you're going like a hickory or an applewood are usually my choice. Get a nice double cream brie, melt that right on top, right as you're finishing it. It's so good. Uh, slap some mossy on there with the balsamic. Oh, that's a good move. That's a good move for a BLT. Some mozzarella and balsamic, and that, that actually sounds delicious right now. Like a smoked gouda for a cheeseburger? Hey, I don't blame you, man. Like, I, if I'm going for just a classic cheeseburger, I either go like a smoked gouda or honestly, American cheese. I know, again, I am a cheese professional, but I will admit, American cheese has its place, and that place is in my stomach. Not for getting red onion with light mayo? Hey, not a bad choice. Uh, how about a grilled brie sandwich? Hey, <laughs> wordsmith over here. I love you, JD. Not exactly a traditional caprese, but it's still close, so it works. Exactly. Exactly. It is, personally, I feel like it's accentuating it. Um, but, you know, a honestly, you know, again, Brina and Jay or Jimmy's not here to whine about me talking about apples and cheese. But honestly, do a grilled cheese with some apple and maybe a nice salty, a little bit more simple ham. Phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Uh, did someone say apples? Yes, I did. I did indeed, honestly. Like, I... <laughs> Wibbles, you get it. You did it. That must mean he could have seen the crime scene clearly. Apples for Wibby. Yee! Honestly, apples are... I think apples might be my favorite fruit. No apples here. That's a lie. I have four apples in my fridge right now. Now I wish to build a sandwich in funny blog game. <laughs> I hope you do make a Minecraft sandwich. Uh, I had a friend who would put asparagus, red onions, garlic, teriyaki, and tinfoil and throw it on the grill. Oh. Oh, that sounds phenomenal. That sounds so good. Like, I... I gotta say, it's something that I've started to enjoy more and more as I've grown. Um, but asparagus, like, it's it's so much more expensive than it really should be. But asparagus is one of my favorite vegetables. Especially if you do it right. Whether you go for a nice grill or a nice slow oven roast, it's just amazing. Uh, no cheese would go with a nice homemade omelet. I mean, honestly, a nice sharper cheddar is usually what I'd go to. You, you want something that's gonna melt a little bit? Uh, New Yorker, American goes hard on an omelet. Ah, see, that's another one. That's honestly another good choice. Ah, uh, don't you mean so good? Uh? <laughs> I love you, Tear. Uh, you know, apples are healthy. Apples are salt. Like, the sugar you get from fruit, as long as it is not eating too much of it, it's actually, like, a decent sugar. One of the ways that I kicked my really bad sugar habit when I lost weight years ago was by substituting it with fruit. I love Brie, hate Stilton. See, I'm with you on that, stranger. Like, you good, Jesper? Hello? <laughs> Jasper's feeling the sass. See, Sean says good for Libby. Libby can has. I approve. Dr. Sean says it is good. He, yeah, no, he indeed is, Breeze. Um... But, you know, I, like, Caitlin loves a fruited Stilton. I don't like Stilton. Whether fruited or blue, I'm just, I, I can't get down with it. I'm, it's the same, and please, please do not tell our friend Iggy, I'm not a fan of Wensleydale. It's too dry and salty. I can't do it, I'm sorry. No one, again, nobody tell Iggy, I don't want to be disowned by our friend. Um. Uh, Sean, they had to stop feeding apes fruit because they got tooth decay. Okay, but also apes don't clean their teeth. They only brush them. Libby's allergic to apples, say so she can't have one. <laughs> and I prefer the white cheeses over the yellow. Hey, fair enough, Russ. Nothing wrong with that. I, no, yo, stranger, Wallace and Gromit was so much of my childhood. I loved it so, so much. Like, I... I don't think my sister still has our old VHS tape of the originals. Um, apparently, Caitlin has some good news, bad news, and sad news. Um, yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> Sean is Wallace. You know, I'll take it. I will take it. Here, 
Sean would go. I, I would go to the moon for cheese that is also a moon made of cheese. You cannot prove otherwise. The moon landing was fake because the moon was not made of cheese. This is my conspiracy theory. <laughs> Love it so much we had, or we had to make cameos in it. Yeah, I know it's not spelled the same, leave me alone. Hey, you were all good. Uh, what's that? <laughs> was that for the black and white TV days? I can't. Uh, <laughs> yes, from the 90s, exactly. But yeah, no, uh, there was no sentient skiing oven. Exactly. So I'm, I'm saying it now, we'll say it again. The moon landing was fake. Because Wallace and Gromit is real. <laughs> the more we look into this matter, the more suspicious it becomes. You know, Claymation got me fricked up as a kid, though. Chicken Run? Hey, that's fair. That is really fair. I haven't watched that movie in a long time, but it was, uh... Not only was it really weird, but also the Claymation was, like... I feel like it was a little bit more of that uncanny feel and look to it at the time. I still absolutely adore Claymation. But I feel like that was in that brief period of time where they were like, things were almost getting more realistic with it. We weren't quite to the level that like Leica is um, for stop motion stuff, but like that claymation stop motion was starting to get more realistic, but it wasn't quite there yet. So it just looked a little extra weird. Hey, you asked me, oh, what's wrong? Oh my God, shut up. I don't need virus protection. I don't watch porn on my computer. I'm done. Uh, in the event of a crash, put your knee or your hand between your knees and kiss your bum goodbye. <laughs> hey, you asked me what my eyesight was like, not what it actually was. Alright, so helpful, Mo. Let's press on this. Reset so we can actually get it right. So, you didn't actually see what the criminal was holding? That's correct! I've been curious to know what caused that loud noise. It must have been something incredibly hard. Too bad they haven't found the murder weapon to know for sure. The claim it was a blood object. At least it says so in the autopsy report. Trillo's testimony and now most Sean's computer is out here raw dogging it right after he said he wasn't engaging in risky behavior. Okay, well here's the thing though. It's 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 literally just that I actually which was it Windows I think it was just Windows Defender. What were you actually saying? Um, oh no, never mind. That wasn't me. <laughs> that wasn't something saying that I should get antivirus. That was Windows Defender saying, "Hey, there's no threats on your computer." <laughs> I need to learn how to read. It's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Every time that notification pops up, I, I don't actually think about it. I don't look and double check. I'm just like, oh, Windows Defender wants something. I don't remember if I set that up properly, but it's fine. Uh, tornado hit during school. Go into the hallway, sit down, and expose your back of your neck to the ceiling. Truly smart and safe. It really seems like Max is the killer. Nick, you've got to find a contradiction in this. It's not going to be enough. What? I have to prove someone, or that Mo saw someone other than Max that night. Um, I don't watch porn on the PC, the laptop, however. <laughs> uh, the tornado trails used to give me headaches because that, yo, that is fair, Wibbles. I gotta say, that is something I'm very glad about the fact that I grew up in the Pacific Northwest, uh, which does not have tornadoes ever. So tornado drills just weren't a thing. I never had to do that. The most we had was earthquake drills, but that is just, yeah, no, just hide under your desk. That should totally be strong enough if the ceiling falls out and you get crushed. Ah, uh, Steam Deck so that you can get one of those reader arm attachments to roll hands free! <laughs> I can't wibbles. It's the only thing that'll help. I've gotta do it. Alright. Hmm. Uh, but Tornado is fun. Okay. I, uh... Mm. So your tornadoes are friend-shaped. Okay, so... I'm not entirely sure what the answer is on this one.
Like, uh, Pearls did it to hide the cheese. We've... Wait, is it actually... Is it a silk hat? Nope, I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to look closely. Nope. Not that. Um... But wait a minute. Wait a minute! Plastic Pearls always hiding cheese, honestly. Max's cloak isn't black. I don't know how I'm gonna prove this, but... Oh, wait a minute! Ha-ha! There we go. Perfect. I did a thing! Uh, July had a tornado hit about five miles away from your house. Oh god, Rush, that's awful. That is terrifying, my dude. Hopefully, I mean, I know that's close enough to definitely get hit with, like, at least some of the fear, but that's awful. Uh, Japan California's number one pastime hiding cheese, honestly. You say you saw all of Max's uppity symbols. I suppose so. The silk hat and the cloak, right? Mo. Everyone knows that Maximilian Galactica has three uppity symbols. Three symbols? Yay, everyone get ready. All together. I'm not. I'm not doing it. I'm not. I'm not. How many times have we had this stupid sentence said? I'm not reading it. What the? Who cares if he knew that there were three or not? Um... It's pretty major considering he worked with the dude. I'm not saying the silk hat phrase, stranger. I refuse. He saw what he saw. And he saw the symbols. He just forgot to mention one. Ah, but there was an error in one of his. I'm not saying it. I will not say anything about the cloak. Nor the white roses. I will not say those three things altogether. Isn't that right, Mo? Oh my god, stop with the d clown shenanigans! Silence, fool! You were to respond with the whole truth, no fractions objections leading the witness, honestly, but apparently that's fine in this world. Uh, Silk Hat. God, you, 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 you almost got me! You almost got me on it, Wimples. That was actually a really good one. John Cena, do it. Um, was that. Was that come? What's good, Jimmy? How's the Ultra Nutter doing today, my man? <laughs> What's up, Jimmy? Hold up! Hold up! Stop nutting in my chat room. Mo! You didn't see the roses, did you? To be honest, there weren't any roses on the person I saw. And again, the cloak was black. His cloak is the same color as his hat. That's fair. Nut indeed, Jimmy. There weren't any roses on the person I saw. We all know Sean loves his... Y'all are getting creative. One of these might actually get me. But I'm not saying it. I will use every ounce of my two brain cells to not do it. what it's like with y'all trying to get me to say Hawkmon. Wait, what? I'm sorry, I don't know. what. What's the thing about Hawkmon? I must know. The crime scene was dark. It's obvious it was too dark to see that kind of detail. Uh, dark enough that you couldn't see his face, right? <laughs> yes. But the witness said he was able to see the silhouette of the criminal's face. You have two brain cells. They weigh more than one ounce. I mean, no. Maybe I have to say it in a certain way due to how her brain works. <laughs> you know what? Fair enough. It's an A. That is a very fair trigger. I can understand that, Wibbles. I promise I am not going to join in on Stranger Shenanigans, and I will never try to get you to say it. Not to mention that the roses are white. There's no way he could have missed them. Hey, Raven! Raven, my friend, how are you doing today? It is so very good to see you. 
Stranger! <laughs> you stop that right now! Oh no, it's allowed. It's funny. Okay, alright. Then, only if someone else brings it up first will I join in on the shenanigans. Because I, I do happen to enjoy me some shenanigans, if I'm being honest. And the roses must have fallen off of the defendant assaulted the victim. If that was the case, then the police would have found them near the crime scene. Mr. Wright, are these white roses truly material to the facts of this case? Yes, they are. I was going to say good, but my cat just used my boobs as a jump pad. Oh no, Raven! That's very disrespectful of your cat. I am so sorry, my friend. That's not nice. Clearly not. He's just toying with this court. Then why are you sweating? Huh? Why are you nervous? Why are you nervous about no white roses being found? Is it because you know that everything here was coached because it's you? Alright, Sean, master of the silk hat, don't. I swear. I swear. If you're about to follow it up with anything to do with the cloak, or roses of a certain color, I'm going to be very unhappy. <laughs> I gotta earn the ropes now. These semen and his <laughs> these seemingly insignificant facts have never failed to lead me the truth yet. Someone is toying with the court, but it's not me. Your Honor, do you recall Trillo's testimony? There's no way I could mistake someone wearing those three ridiculous symbols. How can you mistake someone with that crazy getup? And his nose stuck up so high. Hey, you were all good. You go get some food, Wibbles. Appreciate WRB lurking. How could you mistake someone wearing such a snobby three-piece getup? Trillo saw them all. Trillo saw all three of Max's symbols. Oh yeah, outside of unfortunately being assaulted by your cat, how is your day today, Raven? How are you? However, this witness claims there were no white roses on the person he saw. The rest of the day was good, had our second presentation of the study today, and then like three hours of walking around a certain part of the city with my group to look for inspiration for the next performance you have to do. Hey! That sounds awesome! Did you, did you get any good ideas or inspiration from the wandering? There is absolutely no doubt about this contradiction. I'm gonna reset this here because it's just enough off and you gotta have it on because we're about to hit a pinnacle hmm now that i'm or now what am i supposed to think one is supposed to disregard the pointless but this judge forget the roses think about his other testimony the witness has stated without a doubt that he saw maximilian galactica ah oh, but he did not yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> The person he saw was missing one piece. And also, again, the cloak is the wrong color! So how can we be so sure that it was Max? I have to go back to our inspo place for more research on our own later, and I do think I'll know where I'll be going. Hey, that's awesome! Heck yeah! Nothing else matters. Let's wrap this case up now. Your Honor, it may be trivial, but it does cast doubt on the prosecution's case. Uh, he was watching One Piece. Maybe he should go watch it. I can't. I, I don't think we're going to finish it today. But we're at least going to finish this day in court. Because I think there's still a second day. Oh, God. Frankly, I have my doubts about the witness. It seems that, unlike wine, the witness has not grown more mature with age. I'm not mature. I've come to a conclusion. I'm 99% certain that this witness saw the defendant. However, my remaining 1% of doubt is quite reasonable. It's like the oldest coffee burner in town. Ooh, we may or may not have just sat there for a minute. Oh, that's super dope, Raven. That's awesome. Which means that for my peace of mind, I'm going to request a bit more testimony. What? If there are no contradictions in his next statement, I am prepared to issue a ruling. A ruling? Nick, this is your last chance. I can do this. Let's save. Because it's about to get real spicy. 
No mistakes can be made. There's no doubt in my mind, there were no right roses that night. However, all of the other thimble or symbols were there. I'm equally sure of that. Especially the silk hat. There's no way I could forget seeing the decorations on it. He was wearing the entire time that he was on the scene. <laughs> Gosh dang it, stranger. All right. Mr. Wright, you've got one last chance at this. Just one chance? I will not allow even the slightest hint of battering against this witness. If you are going to prove me there's a contradiction with Mr. Curl's statement, you'd better have at least a shred of evidence to back up your accusation. I got a single shot at this. Got to be careful. I understand, Your Honor. One chance is all we need. Okay. I don't know if that means we only get one chance to press. I'm gonna save. I feel like we should be able to press on everything still. But. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Mo! Be honest. Ow! Oh, but okay. Okay. Hey, Cryptid! Cryptid, my dude, what is good? How are you doing today? Okay, so I don't get to press on anything. All the other symbols were there, especially the silk hat. There's no way I could forget seeing the decorations on. Okay, this... Mm. So... I'm at two. Like, so we were talking about GameStop employees. I'm at an impasse because there's one of two things that I'm thinking. Either we press on the hat and the fact that he says decorations, with the fact being that there's the feather and that's the only decoration. I don't feel like the band counts because that's just simply a part of a hat that style. But it's either that. Or him saying all the other symbols are there. Hold up. Clowny said symbols on his hat. There ain't any. Exactly. I, I think it's going to be the hat. I think this is our best bet. We saved so we can we can try it again if it doesn't work. Well, yeah, how are you doing today, Cryptid? Eep. Eep. Nope. That's not right. Okay. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute! He was wearing it the entire time he was on the scene. Then why was the hat found at the scene of the crime? This wouldn't happen to be the silk hat that you saw that night, would it? Yep, that's it! That's the hat he was wearing that night! No question in your mind? Exactly! How would one mistake a thing like that? What about them? Said that my country doesn't have any. No! I, you know, actually, why, why did I say no? GameStop sucks. <laughs> you should be grateful that you're free of the sheer stupidity that is GameStop Cryptid. <laughs> we shared some stories today, both myself and Wibbles, and Stranger too, with the UK equivalent. I see. Is there some sort of problem, Mr. Wright? Miss Von Karma. Uh, some of the silly moments, honestly. Where exactly was the silk hat found? Must you always ask these questions? It was found at the crime scene. The crime scene? That means... The silk hat fell off at the crime scene. I was more a game... See, I was going to say... I don't remember if Game Crazy was more of a, like, just specific Pacific Northwest thing, or if it was actually nationwide, but Game Game Crazy was the place to go. Their prices were better, their selection was awesome, it was... It had that, like, 90s stank, like, slash early 2000s design stank, that was just such a time capsule. It was sad when that place went out of business. Fun fact, the reason they went out of business is they were... I want to say it was either that they went hand in hand with uh, <laughs> stank or taint. Uh, either they went hand in hand with, or at least they were pretty well partnered with Blockbuster. 
because most of them would be literally attached to a blockbuster. There'd be a separate little, like, open doorway that you'd walk through to go into GameStop. Or Game Crazy. Words. The silk hat fell off at the crime scene. However, the witness clearly testified to the contrary. The witness stated that he was wearing it the entire time that he was on the scene. Oh yeah, that's right, it was Hollywood Video. Yeah, man, I forget that Hollywood Video existed. It, it was attached to Hollywood Video, I think you're right, man. How the times have changed. R.I.P. Movie Rental Places, which is not super surprising. Uh, stupidity entertains me, why else would I watch you? <laughs> I don't know if that was meant as an insult or not, but that was beautifully put, Cryptid. I love that. The witness stated that he was wearing it the entire time that he was on the scene. No! I seconded. <laughs> order! 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 Mr. Curls! Yes, Your Honor. What is the meaning of all of this? You were old enough to know better than to behave like this in court. Hey, that's just not right. That's so harsh. What's not right here is your eyesight and your memory, amongst other things. Dang. All right. Uh, not an insult. That's not the or the opportunity and took it. It was so perfect, Cryptid. It was perfect. I'm I'm glad to see the judge actually getting upset with the chicanery happening in his courtroom for once. Why are you being so mean to me? What did I do? You lied to try and put someone to death, Mo. What the fuck are you talking about? Well, let me guess. You just didn't like my jokes or something, right? You didn't have to go and insult my eyesight or my memory. They're both great. Seriously, why? Just because you're... Oh my god, just shut up, Mo. And no matter how old I get, I'll always be younger than you. Wah! Enough of these childish outbursts, Mr. Curls! Who do you think you are? Let me guess, I wasn't hot enough! <laughs> right? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I saw him! I swear I saw him! It was Max! Even if he didn't have his rose, he was still wearing his dumb silk hat! I'm telling the truth! He's turned into a bratty little kid. Pitiful, isn't it? He left the scene wearing that dumb silk hat. He was there! He... left the scene? What's the matter, Nick? There's something I've been mulling over for a while now. Mo? What do you want?! You just said that he left the scene. Exactly how did the murderer leave the scene of the crime? Why? He, um, he went. What do you mean, how did he leave the scene? You can't ask me that. Objection. Mr. Phoenix Wright is badgering the witness, Your Honor. Am I, though? Because I would like to call back to this photograph of the scene of the crime once again. Where, as you can clearly see, there is one set of footprints that comes up to the box... Uh, yeah, no, I, I don't believe that's badgering. That doesn't feel like badgering. Ethan, you're a lawyer. <laughs> a totally real lawyer. That's not badgering, right? This witness's testimony is so full of holes, Miss Von Karma's protest is useless. You know, I'm gonna be honest. I was half expecting him to make a joke about Von Karma's dead dad there. <laughs> Does that say something bad about me as a person? Also, that I was kind of hoping that he would make a joke about her dead dad. Although, I guess that wouldn't work because he didn't get shot. He was probably hung. Yeah, doesn't matter. You've got a point. Let's hear what the witness has to say on this matter. Is that all right with you, little guy? Don't talk me like I'm a little baby. That testimony is so full of holes, just like her old man. 
<laughs> you know what? It would have been better to be like just like her old man's murder victim. <laughs> uh, we don't discriminate. We badger, weasel, skunk, squirrel, and other small mammals. Exactly. <laughs> Besides, what kind of quest or stupid question is how did he leave the scene of the crime? The answer is obvious. He just turned around and walked away. That's what I expected you'd say. You sure that's how it happened? Say what? Huh. I'm not sure I know exactly where you're going with this. Lawyers nowadays sure do love to hop on the smallest things. Sir? I would like to remind you, judge of this here courtroom, that if my client is found guilty, he is going to be put to death. So maybe, when you do not have definitive evidence, maybe the smallest things being harped on is fucking important! You troll! Uh, in for, or insert sign for, or Seinfeld outro. Do you have any proof to counter his story at the scene of the crime? I do. It's this right here. Look at this picture. The problem is the footprints in the snow. Footprints? In this photo, we can clearly see the footprints of the victim. However, where are the criminal's footprints? They aren't there. Ayra! Beautiful. So, Mo, exactly how did the criminal escape the scene? Um, he, um. Your honor? This witness has already proven that his testimony is completely unreliable. I move to strike all of the witness's testimony from the court record. I agree. This clown's testimony is as rickety as the clown car he came to court in. <laughs> that was a solid one, Judge. Wait just a second. What now? You guys just can't ignore everything I said. Fine, fine, I'll tell you the truth. Really? You're gonna give him another chance? Hot <laughs> clown opinion matters. Okay, but he's not a hot clown, so his opinion doesn't matter. You wait a second. I think you've said more than enough for today. That didn't hurt. I'm sick and tired of listening to you anyways. I'll give you the real deal this time, I swear. I don't know why, but I get the feeling things are going to get worse before they get better. Yeah, everyone is a hot clown to someone. <laughs> Well said, stranger. Well said. Mr. Lawrence Curls. Yes? The testimony you've provided up until now has been false. It hasn't been false. I haven't lied. It's just... It's just what? It's just I was a bit confused on the bit about the criminal leaving the scene. Especially since Von Karma and her whip told me not to talk about what I really saw. <laughs> Judge, can you have her thrown off this case? Order! Order, I will have order! Francisco Von Karma, how could you? Really? Your honor. If you had heard the truth from this witness, you would have exactly the same opinion as I have. She saw the clown is bald. <laughs> Never mind. Hashtag not my clown. <laughs> Whose opinion is that? It's not funny. That's enough out of you. I'm going to listen to what he has to say. Now then, let's hear the truth about what you say you saw, Mr. Curls. Ha! You're not going to believe this, but it's all true, I tell you. Try not to waste our time with your idiotic... Drivel. Okay. Man, there's so much happening in this case. Let me guess, he floated away? Now it's time for our next segment, Mo Knows. Everything that I've said up until now has been the truth. 
When I looked out the window, the ringmaster was down, and Max was standing above him. He wasn't wearing his white rose, but he was still wearing the silk hat. That's when I saw he. <laughs> this is the truth now. Get ready for it. He flew. He jumped up and flew through the air. He flew right off and disappeared into the darkness. That's why there were no footprints. Flying this people don't leave I footprints. Right, guys. Appreciate you, Russ. Uh. Huh. Okay. I told you it wasn't funny. Do you believe me now? Well, that was, um, how do you put this into words? Maximilian Galactica is a world-class magician. But to leave the scene of the crime by flying, there's no way that actually happened. You, you're right. Why is she right? You believe the other witnesses? Why wouldn't you believe me? Especially since it's the best part of the story. Hmm. To be honest, this is the first time I've heard of a flying criminal. What do you think about his testimony, Mr. Wright? Um... I don't fucking know, Judge. Gambling! I don't, I don't know. Go. I'm gonna put on a hat and pretend that I'm not trying to figure this out, because... I got no clue whatsoever. What are we getting? What are we getting? Oh, snap. Oop. Oh, it peeked over just a little bit. We got that powder blue bow. Let's go. If I could find it. Perfect start. I feel beautiful. Uh, it was very funny. Um, I'm going to be honest. I think he was telling the truth. Because I don't think that's entirely true. Again, I think it was the acrobat who did it. But there would have been a way for him to be able to fake that as an acrobat. What he just said was so strange, I don't think he would have made it up. Which means that he's telling the truth. That's what I think. Nick, wait. That means that Max actually used magic? Nice, you're, you're right. Ow! Only a foolish looking fool could be fooled by such a foolish, fool's, foolish dream. I hate that. That's freaking gonna float away. So he was floating the whole time? Or that's what I'm wondering. Don't be ridiculous. Magic does not exist. Did I goof? I suppose I will let you all in on my thinking regarding this manner. The criminal disappeared into the sky. I'd love to believe that. But I just can't wrap my head around how that could actually happen. You imbecile. If you disregard a need for proof, Miss Von Karma's case is sound. However, I've got the feeling that this case is in dire need of more investigation. Thus, I will conclude today's proceedings at this point. It is an undisputed fact that cr the criminal left no footprints at the scene. Tomorrow, I want us to find out the reason behind this mystery of mysteries. Um. Uh. I believe that's enough for today. Court is adjourned. All right. I I don't know how we're gonna do this. Because uh, if he started floating after he conked the dude, then there'd still be footprints of where he was standing. Exactly. Exactly. I still I feel like something weird is going on, and I feel like Mo is in on it too. I really feel like this is a conspiracy against Max. I think the use of any evidence gathering is a bit tedious. Hey, fair enough, stranger. Or cryptid, excuse me. Words. Fair enough, cryptid. It, it depends on where. 
Some of them work great. Some of them can be... Yeah, no, exactly. Again. Acrobat. Wires. Easy selling point. It is pitch blackout. There is no snow falling either. So it would be really easy to have that seem invisible. Hey, sweeties. What in the world is going on? That's what I want to know. They say the criminal flew off into the air and disappeared? Max, I can't believe I'm asking this, but you didn't fly that night, did you? I know you don't mean to ask me such a fabulously stupid question. I can't fly whenever I please, it's not that easy. But it looks so effortless for you on stage. It's not that simple. I'm not actually flying on stage. I use invisible wires and have them hoisting me through the air. There we go. Wow! You just told me the secret to your magic? No, I broke the first rule. The cardinal rule, the only rule. I'm sorry, Max. We made you break a magician's creed to never reveal the secret to their tricks. Nick, what do we do now? All we can do now is hope we find the flying criminal in court tomorrow. Very close to the ground, hanging, could maybe look like standing. Exactly. Exactly. Great idea. Let's do our best and catch this sucker. Alright. We still got a little over an hour left to stream. And I know there's only... Questions here. That's Sean a fact. Is just well, wearing a hat. That, I mean, I'm wearing a bow this time. <laughs> um... I'm getting, I, I don't want to say confident, but I feel like it can breathe a little bit more on our bet. And I might actually be able to do this. Um, Nick? What is it? I've got a confession to make. I'm terrible at figuring out magic tricks. Yeah, no, I knew that, Maya. Magic tricks? Yep. Magic tricks are by their very definition tricks, right? But I can never figure out the tricks when I see them. So, Sean, tell me more about how cheese is made. I will not be distracted. I am a determined potato, and this is not GameStop talk, or GameStop talk anymore. <laughs> That's because the tricks are performed by pros. They do it so you can't guess the trick. But, but, the trick Pearly showed me was incredible. Pearls did a magic trick? What kind of magic trick was it? Uh, determined potato, exactly. You were the last time I mentioned cheese. I, but I'm, I'm much more determined this time, stranger. Let's see. It looked like she pulled the end of her own thumb off. I fell for that trick when I was like four years old. Maya, you were a whole ass adult. You really, you really fall for the whole, like, how, how does it, I don't remember how it goes. She's like that and just whoop. It's here, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I would like your dead sister back, Maya. Can you just go away now? <laughs> Maya, you're banned, honestly. Huh. First she put her right thumb next to her left hand, and then it just separated. She can move it up and down and everything. Look, Sean, got your nose. Exactly. It's the equivalent of up. Got your nose. Like, what the fuck, Maya? Really? Was it kind of like this? What? How? How would you do that? Nick, you're like a real magician. See, this is why I just can't figure out magic. I'm no good at it. Hey, I need that. Oh, <laughs> Especially hard tricks like flying away from the murder scene. You'll take all the fun out of magic if you keep trying to figure it out. Okay. I feel like we should go to the circus. You hear that? It sounds like two people arguing. Alright, let's do it. Are you ready? Yes. Uh, wait. Quit your whining! Let's just give this a shot already. All right, let's go. Row, row, row your boat. Row, row, row your boat. That's it. Who the frick hired this lady? Honestly, though, because I don't want to. What are you doing? 
gently down the stream. Come on, you know that. I'm trying my best, but Trillo, this just isn't going to work. Do you enjoy saying dumb things? You're going to have to be on your own someday. You can't handle something as simple as this. What are you going to do then? Hello, Ben. Hello to you too, Trillo. What are you doing here? Can't you see we're on a secret crash course training? I'm sorry. Secret crash training? Whoa. Yes, Trillo wouldn't give up until I said we'd try out this idea for a new routine. <laughs> Look at this guy, he fucks. Yeah, no, Ben up there, he definitely fucks. So, we were trying to sing it around for our new ventriloquism act. In a round? You can really do that? That's incredible! See? See? Even they're surprised by the idea. I told you! They're not the only ones. You even surprised me with your idea. Once we've got a grip on the basics, then it's just a matter of practice. Oh yeah, Ben, him and... <laughs> I'm sorry, Jimmy, you're right. I should have been thinking that you were insinuating the Trillo, the ventriloquist dummy, who I'm pretty sure is supposed to be like a five-year-old child, definitely fucks. I <laughs> can't. Uh, oh, hey, wait, is that? Yeah, look, a coin behind your ear this whole time. <gasps> huh? <laughs> Maya's an idiot. <laughs> Just play the game, man. All right, fine. I was playing the game, but then she came in all hot. Like, who, this guy, hey, Victor. Victor, my dude. How is you doing today, my man? What is up? Oops, hey, it's all good, Krypton. I got you. I got you. How is your day going, Victor? How is getting back to the swing of things going? How is your Thursday? What's up, Jimmy? Jimmy? Stop nutting in my chat room. Once we got a grip on the basics, then it's just a matter of practice. You think so? Oh, I almost forgot. I wanted to give this back to you. Hey, I'm glad it's been a solid day, man. Nice. I will chill the fuck out whenever I want. All right? This is my shit. I can do it how I please, Jimmy. I just messaged a lot of people back on to grind. I already missed Montreal. Yo, that's fair, man. That is fair. I know shit's expensive everywhere, but I know especially in Canada, you guys are struggling to hardcore with how expensive, especially housing is. But hopefully either you get to go back again, or hopefully maybe if it ends up being the kind of place where you feel like it's your permanent vibe, hopefully maybe you can make it out there someday. Bippity bobbity back to fuck up. Appreciate you, Victor. Now you two will scare your kid. <laughs> Damn, sounds like you need your sack gargled. Fuck. I'm waiting, Jimmy. I'm waiting for you. They are ready to be gargled. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm this way. Ah, there it is. Now that I got this ring back, it's time to take one more shot of Regina. Uh, but also, to answer your earlier question, Jimmy, slash statement, I guess Trillo does technically fuck because he's potentially going to be getting engaged. It's weird. It's really weird. She's also only 16. And he's like 31. Uh, have you heard of Super Mario Eclipse? Is that... I was gonna say, isn't that a Super Mario Sunshine mod? I don't know anything about... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm gonna get to your, your message here in a second, Jimmy. Um, I don't know anything about what the mod specifically is, though. Um, I've, I've only really heard the name. Is it is it something that's actually coming out soon? Uh, with Mount Deno and Stream. <laughs> Wait, do you feel your balls? I had a vasectomy. That doesn't mean I can't feel my testicles. Uh, it's apparently dope AF. Hey, yo, let's go. Heck yeah. Uh, nah, like for- Yeah, no, it, they, they still have the same exact feeling as they did before. Nothing's changed, Jimmy. Uh, just like more content from Mario Sunshine. It's like a sequel. Oh, that's fucking sick. That's super dope. Oh, let me just reset this real quick. Um, I know that you already testified in court today. You wanna talk about what we saw, right? Yes. Well, at first we thought it was the old man. Just looking at his walk and how he acted. Right, Ben? <laughs> Stranger! <laughs> you always get the perfect shit. 
Uh, oh man, I don't know. I still produce baby gravy. I thought they were like shriveled and shit. <laughs> nope. Just like the fact that there's no difference in the amount that you nut because it's only like not even 1% of the volume that comes from your testicles. There's also still full feeling. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, that's right. But then we said hello, and didn't even get a reply. Not to mention he was draped in those gaudy symbols. What's up, Jimmy? Well, what else you gotta ask, my dude? What would you have thought if he wasn't wearing those symbols? Hmm. What do you think, Ben? What? Um, I would have thought it was the ringmaster. Interesting. Where the fuck nut come from? It comes from your prostate, Jimmy. Fun fact. Your, your coom comes from your prostate. Educational moments with Derp. <laughs> Five days in, and we've hit the quota. Let's go! Uh, <laughs> my butt, butt. I mean, you can reach your prostate through your butt, so good. Yes and no, because it's also not located in your butt. It's just like... Right above it, essentially. Not where I expected this con- or today's stream to go. Fuck balls for then besides pain. So Jimmy, that is where the actual sperm comes from. Sperm is stored in your testicles. The actual semen comes from your prostate. Sperm itself is only like I can't remember the exact number, but it's like less than one percent of the actual fluid. The rest of it all comes from your prostate. The more you know. <laughs> Victor, let's go! Fuck yeah! <laughs> <laughs> this stream rocks. <laughs> does that mean you need to get your prostate removed? <laughs> it does not. So when they snip the vas deferens, <laughs> when they snip the vas deferens, which is the tube that connects your testicles up to your reproductive system, which then reaches into connecting with your prostate eventually. When they snip that shit, there's no way for the sperm to be able to get from your testicles to the semen. So all you need to do is snip that shit, seal it off tightly, and is it, don't do it yourself. Have a professional do it, for the love of God. <laughs> do not do an at-home vasectomy. I cannot stress this enough, all right? There's already a lot of weird, random potential side effects getting one. Like, I gotta deal with phantom ball pain, which for those of you who don't know, it's the only side effect I have to deal with from it. And thankfully, it's been like two or three years since I've had it. But every once in a while, you will get these random, like, upwards of week-long periods of time where, like, I, the first time it happened, I thought I had torsion. It was that bad. But your testicles will just fucking radiate pain. I gotta be honest, totally worth it. More than worth it for not having to worry about having a little mini derp walking around. Um, I don't remember where I was going. <laughs> But yeah, no, that's right. Uh, don't do not do it at home, please. Go go get a professional to do it. Seamen come from the city of prostate. Uh, the wiggles come from balls. The soup comes from your prostate. Exactly. Exactly. So if, if we're going to take the metaphor of your nut is alphabet soup, the noodles, the thing that gives it its substance, the noodles come from your testicles. So if you remove the noodles from the soup, all you got is the broth, and the broth ain't gonna do shit for nobody. But the broth is still there, and the broth still happens. Don't ask me why that's the allegory I decided to go for when talking about getting a vasectomy, but it works, right? Surprisingly well. Ah, uh, so you got like two straws in your ass. God damn it to me again. <laughs> Derp's basics and education and learning. Uh, all I hear is do it at home. At home vasectomy for the win. I fucking can't with y'all. I can't. Uh, uh, um, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... <laughs> no baby dirt then. Exactly. Exactly. Huh. Text Caitlin back real quick. Uh, <laughs> many derps are in fur form. Exactly. 
They still exist. They're just Lord have mercy, much... I'm about to bust. <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> I can't. Uh, my phone is losing its mind. I'm just trying to cut my fucking broken phone screen. I hate it. <laughs> Someone falls or gone, you know what? That's fair. I'm already snipped, motherfucker. That is fair I don't need them. Take them. Take them away. Uh, so, like, hear me out. Oh, no, Jimmy. What, what, what kind of fuck shit you about to say? All right. Let me, let me try and do a little bit more. Because, again, we were making process or progress until we started talking about the process of nut. Wait. Oh, um, I would have thought it was the ringmaster. Hmm. Something just isn't adding up here. I wonder what they were or who they really saw. Wait a minute. The ringmaster wears all black, so he probably wore a black cape. How did I, you know, I gotta be honest, I don't remember how this conversation started. So if you inject food coloring in your balls or prostate, fuck it both. Can I make blue or green cum? I don't know why these are the things you talk about or think about Jimmy. I'm gonna be honest, I, I don't know the answer to that question. Uh, <laughs> Jimmy won that Hulk soup! Uh, do come... Do blue come... come from blue balls? <laughs> Y'all are fucking degenerates. Yay colors! I was hoping I could ask you about Regina. I'm completely serious about her. That's why I'm waiting for her even now. See, I said I said I was gonna gargle your balls, and I thought to you, oh, that's right. That that did start with Jimmy saying that I needed someone to gargle my balls and threatening to have him do it for me. Uh, you know, I I don't want to Google search it because I'm already on enough lists, and I feel like will injecting color into your balls make your cum a different color is gonna get me on a list that I, I don't know there's ever any coming back from. So I'm gonna leave that up to you. Uh, but I think you should. I'm gonna not. I'm, I'm just gonna not. Really? That's so sweet. But if you really wanted to see Regina, shouldn't you check out the tent? Uh, try it and find out. No! Somebody else do it. I'm not gonna do it. Ha! <laughs> you haven't got a clue about things, do you, sweetheart? It's here. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll get moving a little bit. Uh, for science, Sean, obviously I can't. You can die pancake batter. <laughs> what about baby batter? Huh? Waiting like this is part of being in love. How so? If you had a clue, you would know that waiting is such sweet, wonderful torture. When your body aches for your partner's love, that's one of the best parts. I don't, I don't know about that. Um, yeah, I knew that. Poor Maya. She's so red, she looks like a vine-ripe tomato. Alright, I don't I don't care enough to ask you about ventriloquism. How do I make my cum gold? Uh, that'd be cool. Make it glow in the dark would be cool, too. <laughs> I quit. I can't. That's <laughs> some fucking alien baby schedule. Meanwhile, Sean's body just aches from phantom ball pain. Again, thankfully I haven't had to deal with it in over a year. But literally, the first time I had it happen, I straight up went to the doctor. Because I was like, I I think, I, I don't know what happened, but I literally just woke up in a massive amount of pain. And I think I might be suffering from testicular torsion. I don't know what's going on. And fun fact, the doctor that I had at the time was kind of a fucking moron. They're like, oh, I don't know. It it might be an infection. Um, Give it a couple of days and if it goes away, come back. And I was like, all right, cool. And it wasn't until I talked to a couple of other friends who also had had vasectomies um, or got them soon after I did. Where I was like, oh, wait a minute. So that we all just like, we all know and understand that randomly you're, so if you get kicked in your gooch hard enough, can it reset your neuter? <laughs> it cannot, Jimmy. Because when they snip your vas deferens, they then sew it together with dissolvable stitches. So therefore it's completely sealed up. Like there's... There's always a random freak chance 
that it stops working, that there's, you know, a hole that forms in both ends of the vast deference, and by some miracle, sperm is somehow able to then get through, uh, but typically, n no. Uh, so if you or another dude got snipped at roughly the same time, do you cycle pain together? No, because there's not a schedule for it. It's literally just, it can happen whenever. And it ain't fun. It, it really ain't fun. It's, it's about as painful as when they inject the uh, numbing agent directly into your vas deferens, which again, that that's uh, probably one of the worst pains I've ever had to deal with in my life. So if you get smashed hard enough, it'll happen. I don't think that'll happen, Jimmy. Huh? Where's Regina? I don't know. But if she's with that Targer, I don't want to find out. I'm not fucking wrong. You are wrong. Like, I'm I'm also not going to Google search. Can you get kicked in the balls hard enough that it undoes your vasectomy? Okay, but see, here's the thing. Jimmy, it would have to be, like, right after it happens. Because it doesn't take long for him to seal up. It's literally just a... Is, your vast deference is a tiny hole. Like, if you, if you feel around... <laughs> this is a weird thing to say. For everyone with testicles in the audience, if you feel around your testicles, up above your balls, you'll feel a little tube. Uh, nah, scars open too much. I fucking can't. Jimmy's just on a ride if I'm gonna prove that if I kick Sean hard enough in the taint, it's gonna undo his vasectomy. Let's hurry up and get out of here. Um, this won't hurt a bit. You lied! Nah, he did, he did warn about how painful it was going to be, but it still wasn't enough. Uh, come do it for me. I'm not a visual learner. Uh, exactly. That's <laughs> we're asking you to touch balls instead of grass, Raven. I'm fucking dead. Uh, Nick, you're kind of a chicken, aren't you? No, 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 no. I'm just um allergic to wild tigers. All right, let's go to the office. Let's search around a little, see what we can find. Max and the ringmaster had their talk in this room. In all seriousness, touch balls once in a while. Yeah, no, honestly though, that, that is actually here. You know what? I'm gonna do a thing we haven't broken out for a while. Hi, Sergeant Herp Derp here. I'm here as a reminder for everyone out there, uh, for those of us with testicles, for those of us who do not have testicles, um, there's something you can do as well. But please, for those of us with testicles, Touch your balls. Make sure- Oh no! <laughs> Nico! What did I join into this time? For those of you with testicles, make sure to check your balls. Feel for lumps, make sure that everything is okay, because it is important. You never know when it'll get you. Cancer is not something to mess with. For those of you without balls, feel your titties. Again, check for lumps. Lumps can happen at any time, at any age. Know your or words. Know your body. Be comfortable with your body. Take care of yourself. Feel yourself up. <laughs> Why am I this way? Hi, Nico. How are you doing, my friend? How are you today? I'm sorry you always come in at the most, like, inopportune times. I... I don't have the words to properly apologize. Um, fun fact, I felt the lump on my nuts. Went crazy thinking I got cancer, but it was just a cyst. Oh, good. I'm glad it was just a cyst, man. But it's like, again, it's not stuff to fuck around with. Cause like, even dealing with a cyst, um, that, that still can get bad if you don't catch it early. That still cannot be fun. So just, like, genuinely, take care of yourself. Uh, and for those who have both, you're in for a busy time. <laughs> Breeze had a good feel. I'm fine. Fully fondled. Doctor said it's all good. Bet. Well, good. I'm glad to hear, man. I'm, I'm glad your balls are okay, Victor. <laughs> Funny fondled and other details. But I wouldn't have found out if I didn't touch my balls. Exactly. So that's all we're saying. Spread the word, y'all. Touch your balls on a regular basis. Uh, you know, they can. They can. <laughs> Spread the word. Touch your balls. <laughs> they can. Ah. Uh, Doing fairly good. Ooh, you got some isopods as pets over the weekend. Oh, that's super dope. That is awesome, Nico. Uh, I, you know, I, I've never actually seen one in person, so I'm curious. How, how big are the little guys? And it only grabs your... Yeah, exactly. 
Only check your own balls. Unless given consent. If someone consents to you checking their balls, but also please don't go asking random strangers, hey, can I check your balls for lumps? <laughs> consent is important. Only check your own balls. Uh, exactly. If they give permission, it's fine. It's fine if they give permission. <laughs> Sean, check my balls. <laughs> okay, Jimmy. Spread the word and your legs. But, you know, what kind of isopods and how big are the little dudes? That's so awesome, Nico. Again, I'm so sorry that you always come in at the most cursed moments. Uh, oh, they're powdered oranges. Oh, my gosh. They're real small and adorable. That's amazing. That is so dope. How, uh, how'd it come about you getting them? Max and the ringmaster had their talk in this room. That could have been when the ringmaster put Max's costume on and went outside. Let me really quick just... Why'd you do that anyway? Was it really cold or something? Ah, uh, Powdered Orange was my name in high school. <laughs> I'm curious to ask Jimmy, why? Alright, what's happening in here? They still haven't cleaned this place up yet? Uh, anyways, I'm exhausted, so eep in time. <laughs> Touching ball seems like a good exit. Yeah, that's fair, Raven. That's real fair. You go get yourself some rest. Thank you so much for coming by. It is always such a pleasure to see you, my friend. Get some good rest and have a great, great weekend. <laughs> Fuck you, that's why. <laughs> God damn it, Jimmy. If Polly got one look at this place in this state, she'd slap whoever was in charge across the face. So I have a theory. Ringmaster fainted from the cold and clocked himself on the chest. Ooh. That's actually not a bad theory, stranger. Like, I, I want, you know what? Or maybe he was even drugged. But that's not a bad plan or a thought. Got them as food for my ants because they're annoyingly picky sometimes and I'm very attached, you know? I gotta be honest, if I were you, I probably would not end up feeding them to them either because that those sound adorable. All right, what, what you got, Jimmy? What you got? What am I hearing you out for? Remind me to never invite her to my office. Let's see, here was No, don't, stranger, don't you do it. So, like, can you replace your soup cum with, like, coffee? <laughs> I don't believe so, because, Jimmy, I'm going to be honest, I feel like if you tried to do something like that, more than likely that would cause some major health issues, and you would probably at least get an infection, if not die, if you, like, tried to inject coffee directly into your prostate. Again, I'm not a doctor. I know I claimed to be earlier when Wibbles was like, no, Sean is doctor, and he says apples are good, so I eat apples. Um, but I'm not actually a doctor, so I can't say for sure. But I, I feel like probably not. <laughs> Victor, I'd stop the tangents. Uh, had an ant queen death due to pesticides. Oh no, when I was feeding them, flies caught outside, so I need a new solution. Hopefully that ends up working, Nico. I'm so sorry. Just started begging through the ball and cock straw. <laughs> yeah, I'm with Victor on this. We've, we've learned two things today. PSA, the more you know, um, touch your balls and also don't put stuff in your balls. No, it's you two. You look like you just got hit by a truck. Shouldn't you get some rest? Let's see here. Sean has interchangeable cartridges. I can't. I like learning things, okay? And you know, we've really learned some important things today. We have. Um, taking a rest right now, pal. Been listening to some crazy clowns' life story. This fun karma told me to come down here and do this for. Oh, buddy. Yeah, I figured as much. Let me tell you something, pal. Listening to that old clown sucks all your energy. Every time he's done talking, he looks at you like you should be doing something. Um, I think he's waiting for you to laugh at his jokes. Random hiccups. I don't know why. It's a, it's a weird thing that I've noticed. But whenever I have to go back and forth between voices a lot... Every once in a while, especially when it's more gravelly voices, every once in a while it gives me just, like, a singular hiccup. And it is so weird. Ah, uh, just like Jimmy sucks all of Sean's c energy. Exactly. So, like, does it still have the nutrients or nu or nutrition if you... Again, the when you get a vasectomy, it's less than 1% of your nut that is going to be changed. 
The rest of it, again, comes from your prostate. It just ain't got the swimmer. So I, I don't know if that changes the caloric value of your nut. But that also depends on the density slash volume of your nut. So I don't know. You want to drink coffee? <laughs> yeah, sure. My treat. <laughs> Let me just squeeze I'm caffeinated snip, balls. Motherfucker. I don't need them. Take them. Take them away. <laughs> <laughs> what is this stream? Oh, I love it. Uh, it's like proteins. It, I mean, Jimmy, it's probably not even remotely a negligible amount. Because I'm sure it would have to be such a large quantity that no human being could actually nut that much for there to be anything calorically valuable about it. <laughs> Why do you... I feel like I'm becoming used to this type of conversation. <laughs> I... I'm not sure if I should apologize or say you're welcome for partially desensitizing you to these things, Nico. Uh, so we all agree to never mention this part of the stream to Caitlyn exactly. As far as Caitlyn's concerned, the last hour did not happen. Uh, now we're talking. Co now we're taking coffee beans to a whole level. Uh, give me a steak and an acid. I'll fill the. Kid, I can't. Ah, oh. I know that, pal. You have any idea how much your face hurts if you fake laughing that much? Francesca really said what bad this time, didn't she? If you ask me, she should be listening to Mo herself. No way, pal! <laughs> One of us! One of us! Uh, truly, honestly, I don't mind at all. It's just a meme at this point. And see, I, like, I love it. I swear, it's at least every two or three months. But there's always a perfect moment, like today, you hopping in as I'm doing... A PSA infomercial about touch your balls. Or there's just so many random moments where you pop in as I'm saying some ab just absolutely fucked shit. And that's the first thing you hear. <laughs> it's one of my favorite memes on the channel. Uh, I need to get my education from somewhere. <laughs> oh, You're not going to get me to backbite a woman with a whip. No way. Why does everybody have a whip kink? Chat is always more entertaining than the game. That's fair, Cookie. That is fair. Why are you defending her? Prosecutor Von Karma's always got her eyes on us. And every time you definitely don't want her to show up, poof, there she is. Don't show up. Don't show up, don't show up, don't show up, don't show up. Ah, uh, just like the one time Jimmy tried to work out if Sean would fuck his clone or not. And it went on for like over a half an hour. Looks like she's wound him up pretty tight. There's a few, or there are a few games that are more chaotic than a Twitch chat. That is absolutely a fact, Nico. We might potentially be playing one next week. I don't know for sure, but we'll we'll see. I'm I'm very excited for the secret game that I might reveal the name of later today. Uh, yeah, Sean Bright said your clones won't get pregnant. <laughs> that doesn't change anything. I'm not going to fuck a clone of myself, Jimmy. She's directly above us as we speak. How's that possible? She's checking the roof, Maya. According to the clown, the culprit jumped from here and disappeared into the sky. If that's what happened, it means the killer passed right by this window, pal. Oh, so these poor sent me a sub. No idea. You know, it, it was, uh, I think it... Oh, gosh, no, I can't remember. It was either Watson or Venom. I think you... I think you might have been from Venom. Uh, but I know, it's, it's so nice to have you being able to use the emotes again, my friend. It's <laughs> so suburban, yes. Yes, not wanting to fuck a clone of me makes me suburban. Indeed. <laughs> Who lives in that room, behind the window up there? The acrobat's got his room on the third floor, it seems. Huh. How convenient. Pretty soon, Miss Von Karma's gonna start her investigation up there. Let's not get any ideas of going up to the acrobat's room. Got it, pal. I will do no such thing. Francesca Von Karma. Yeah, no, she's gonna hide evidence. Uh, so he just flips up there. Yep, exactly. Exactly. He is an acrobat. He would easily have been able to set up something to make it look like he was floating up to get up to his room. Obviously, Mo does not like Max. Obviously, he's not a fan. Just like everybody else here, because new, and also he, he is a little pretentious, but I mean, he's doing his best. Um, it's, it's entirely, entirely 
probable that he just had something set up to make it look like he was flying up to get right up to his room. Uh, what if you're trapped in space and the only thing you had to eat was Viagra and trapped with your clone? I would probably die because, again, just like Nut, I don't believe there's any caloric value in Viagra, Jimmy. Ah, uh, Super Game Boy reveal later. Don't worry, Sean. No one is leaving. No reason to bribe us. <laughs> uh, unless he was actually floating on a gas cloud from too many cans of beans. I mean, fair enough. Also, I want to get so many types of isopods now, but I have literally no room in my room anymore. You know, it can be a goal for some day. Maybe at some point in the future. So probably die after you fuck your... You know, it's like there, there was this podcast I used to listen to. Um, it's, it's not around anymore, unfortunately. But there was actually, as a matter of fact, if I remember it, our friend Avery actually used to be on the podcast. Um, but there was this <laughs> constant push of trying to get one of the people on the podcast to admit that if they were trapped on a planet of My Little Pony for a year, like, it wasn't like, oh, you know, indefinitely you're there. It was like if you were trapped on a planet with My Little Ponies for a year, you'd fuck them, right? Like, actively trying multiple times to get this dude to say that he would fuck a My Little Pony. This feels like the same situation, but clown for me. And <laughs> now that's just illegal... <laughs> God damn it, you. Uh, my acepods and several other insects literally live in my closet. <laughs> you know, it, it, it works. I'm gonna I'm do it, Jim. I'm gonna I'm do it, Victor. I'm gonna do it. Once she's done with her investigation, I think I'll go up there and check it out. Alright. Let's go... Probably Mo... Oh, God, I have to talk to Mo again. Ugh! Ugh! Mo... Oh... Mo's not here. Uh, that has to be against the Geneva Convention. That's what I'm saying. Uh, I'm, I'm absolutely saying that. It ain't happening. And also, I'm not fucking my clone, Jimmy. That feels like a weird form of incest. Uh, you can talk about cro <laughs> you can talk about procreation with bronies all you want. <laughs> if he was here, you would have been able to tell even before you stepped into this room. I'm sure you would have already heard him laugh away. Ah! What do you think he's laughing about when he's all by himself? I always thought he was just thinking up new jokes. Huh. He must really love his work. Ah, oh, those costumes. So much trauma. That's, that's fair, Cryptid. Uh, it's not, though. It's yourself. You jerk your chicken. I'm sure say No! No, Jimmy. Because see, here's the thing. I don't have a weird... Like, essentially circular penis that I can use to fuck my own ass. There's a difference, and it's also a completely separate human being. Like, is, that would be like the same logic of getting caught by your partner, having someone jerk you off, and just being like, wait, it's masturbation. Like, no. There's a difference. If there's another human being involved. <laughs> God damn it, stranger. Your PP is the same. Why do I see these things? I, Nico, again, I would like to apologize. <laughs> Alright, let me let me look around the room here and see what we can find. <laughs> oh no. What did, what did you do? Oh, nope, that's not what you were supposed to open. You're supposed to go over there. Let me, oh no. Oh no. See, I always get scared whenever it's just like a quick four or five second clip from you. Fuck a My Little Pony. This feels like the same situation, but clown for- <laughs> I can't, stranger. I fucking can't. Mo seems to be a voracious reader. Look at all the hard books he has here. Uh, imagine <laughs> genital Ouroboros. Jimmy, with that you could literally fuck your own penis. I'm sorry, I'm done. I'm done. Clowns for dummies, the joke's on you. Wait a minute, what's that hole in the ceiling? Was that there? Well, look at the ceiling. Looks like someone punched a hole in it. Uh, Sean is never done. Yeah, that's fair. I might say it, but I really am never done, and there's always something else stupid that's gonna come out of my mouth. You're right. I wonder what happened. So Sean would human centipede with himself, except with booty. <laughs> No, I didn't say that! Again, I'm not fucking my clone! 
Why can't I escape the clone fucking? I never bring it up! Huh. I don't even want to imagine what goes on in here. Oh no, he's- <laughs> Cryptid! I'm siding with Jimmy on this one. Yeah. <laughs> funny clown- or clown equipment is so funny looking. He's got a balancing ball, a unicycle, he's even got a trampoline. But they're all broken. Imagine if you got raided by a huge streamer right as I was saying something like that. You know, it's... It's never been like, oh shit, it's one of the biggest streamers on the platform. But we have, like, I'm pretty sure the first time that our friend Iggy Maid raided us before we knew of them, I'm pretty sure we got into or were in the middle of saying something absolutely fucked. And yet our friend still hangs around, and their community still is chill with us. So, you know, apparently I'm doing something right. Maybe, I don't know. I'm... <laughs> if I ever had any desire, though, career in politics out the fucking window. Uh, second, she can't get mad at you for your clone fuckery. It's just you. You're just jerking, bro. And to be unfair, if she got mad, you could be out cheating, but no, you're just having me time. Literally, I can't you mean. Yeah, no, it was. It was during Ace Attorney. <laughs> Nothing new there then. Like, if I remember right, I'm pretty sure it was during the, uh... It was during the case with the TV show. Um, Steel Samurai. Uh, <laughs> clone Circle Jerk. They're all broken. Well, you gotta give them all a shot. Trying is the most important thing. You sure seem to have tried them all, but... Are any of these useful? Alright. Anything else? If anything, you could Eiffel Tower and shit everyone wins. But see, Jimmy, here's the weird thing about that. That, like, that... For me, that hits into such a weird zone where then I have to watch myself who's not actually me having sex with my partner and that just feels weird. I'm not down for that. I'm a selfish motherfucker. I don't share. Even with me. <laughs> Slipping on a banana peel a hundred times a day, that's incredible, but... But it's me, but it's not exactly me. Because it's still going to be a slightly different me. Because it's not experiencing the exact same feeling I am in that moment. And it's just weird and I'm not doing it. Uh, the banana peel is totally the most vital evidence. Alright, let's see here. Is there anything else we can find in this place? Uh, nope. Okay. Let's go look around a little bit more. Um, how do I... Mm, there we go. Uh, I got a new channel point idea. Hey, what you got, Victor? Uh, do you know what definition of a clone is? I do, Jimmy. As a matter of fact, I do. <laughs> Let's see here. Like, PG only. You do no sex talk. <laughs> you know, there are some people in this chat room who would make that very difficult. Let's see here. Mm. I don't know that there's anything else that we can actually see, but... Um. Also, we, we already looked at some of this stuff. Um, so you'd have to use the most polite Little language. Oh. Mother Ducker. That would be incredibly difficult. That would be really tough. I might have to think about that, actually. That that could be fun. Uh, sometimes I question myself that I come here and remember how normal I actually am. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, I'm wholly innocent in the category of cursed speeches. Yeah, no, it's, I was going to say, with Jimmy and Stranger and a couple of other you motherfuckers, I don't think it would happen. Here, Maya, just just stop. Just stop. Um, I guess one thing we could do is we could go... We could go to the detention center and see if he's here. I feel like there's something we need to do to move the dialogue along, because we should be getting to the next spot. But it hasn't triggered yet. Uh, who are these other fuckers? Hmm? You would not be on the list at all, Haley. You never try to make me say abhorrent things. Oh, my sweeties. You mind hurrying up and getting me out of this place? We're doing our best, Max. Just hang in there. 
a little while ago, some people from a local TV station came by. And since I'm a famed magician, no they said, Mother Ducker. Let's make you your very own TV special. <laughs> I'm your savory hun. <laughs> uh, I still want to know where he keeps getting these cards. I know, he's just got an infinite amount of cards. Really? What kind of TV special? Maximilian Galactica. The Great Prison Escape. It would be ad live. Max, you're an idiot. I love how every time when someone redeems the no cursing Sean just frowns and is on the verge of crying. I'm not about to cry, but I'm very disappointed. I trust you guys with that. I put it out there in the universe and I trust that you guys aren't going to be mean. And yet you're still mean to me. Trust gets you nowhere sometimes. Ah, uh, <laughs> really, I didn't see that. No cursing, no cursing mother, mother ducker. The synchronicity of you two clowns. Rude. Hey, that sounds like it would be an awesome special. But if I do the special before I'm acquitted, they'll never let me out of here for real. Oh, wait, no, I saw it this time. <laughs> Well, it would surely be an unnecessary addition to your troubles with the law. That's what I was thinking, but the production staff is already working on the show. If you don't get me out quick, I'll have no choice but to stay to real prison break. You seem awfully calm about that possibility. I'd have no choice. It would be a contractual obligation. That's show business. Ah, uh, we're gonna start calling everyone clowns after this case. Uh, I mean, honestly. I'd like to say that I'll be able to escape clowns eventually, but I feel like at this point the clown meta is just... It's just here. It's just here and it's real. I need to talk to you, Max. Ah, uh, the night of the crime. You didn't have to fly off into the sky, did you? Uh, we're the hot clowns in the chat. Here's how everything went down, sweetie. At the time of the murder, he's wearing his cloak. Again, he's wearing black. So I have a feeling he grabbed the hat because he knew it was snowing and it was going to be cold. I was sitting in the ringmaster's room. Not to mention, flying off into the sky is not just something I can do at will. I don't care what the stoogy clown says, it wasn't me. Max, Max, do you mind teaching me the trick behind flying? Maya, just stop. You'll have to forgive me, sweetie. How does that hat fit over all that hair? It ain't easy. Just like for me, who's definitely bald, it's not easy. Ah, oh, this guy just annoys me and I don't know why. Hey, fair enough. The difference between me and sheep imitation magician is that I keep my mouth shut. I don't teach people tricks, but I will say this much. It's much harder than you think. I was thinking about this in court today. I've got a favor to ask you. We know you were bald, Sean. No worries. <laughs> Anything for you, sweetie. Be friends with the other performers in the circus. <laughs> Discount David Bowie. That's actually a really perfect call. It's like you took David Bowie and you took Chris Angel and you just smashed the worst of Chris Angel into David Bowie. Fabulous. A great joke. Why would I be friends with a bunch of hacks like them? But... I've won on the world stage. I've won the International Grand Prix. International Grand Prix. Performers should always look to perform on the world stage. But the performers at this circus are completely and utterly devoid of ambition. That is something that I simply cannot tolerate. Ambition? Huh? Something about what Max said just rings true to my ears. Yeah, let's find out more about this. Oh my! My sweeties want to hear all about the Grand Prix, don't they? To be honest, though, I've told this story like a hundred times already, so it's a bit boring. What if I fucked your clone and you were going steady? Would you feel... I mean, Jimmy, it's okay to just say you got a thing for me. It's fine. I don't judge. I don't lack penises, and I'm also already taken. But it's fine if you got a thing for me, my dude. Uh, did he... Yeah, you know, where, where is he hiding these cards? You would think the police would have confiscated him, but apparently he can just infinitely pull him from whatever orifice he's hiding him in. We're sorry to make you tell it again. You must not have heard me. 
I'm really sick of telling this story. Something bad happened, didn't it? What can you do? I'm Maximilian Galactica. I suppose I can tell it again. I think Jimmy just wants a clone for himself. I, I think you're not wrong on that, stranger. Voila! Here, yeah, take a look at this. I just happen to have a picture from the Grand Prix with me. I want your clone, not you, pervert. I can't with you, Jimmy. It's literally a clone of me! Just look at the fabulous stage. This is the first stage that I ever flew on. I flew right over the audience. The crowd erupted into applause. At the time, I thought to myself that I could die right then and die a happy man. I'll never forget how I felt that night. The emotions, the acclaim. Wow. <laughs> By the way, I think everyone who is a performer should get to experience that feeling. I just wish I could explain to the other people in the circus. That's incredible, Max. I want a trophy too. Hey, Nick, how about you buy me a trophy? It's not how you earn a trophy, Maya. Uh, the emotions, the acclaim, the balls. <laughs> My sweeties, you can have this picture of my triumph. Just make sure to show it to all the other members of the circus. Look and learn. That's what you should tell them. Learn how to get thrown in jail. Okay, so we got a picture. We'll move along. And let's go see... Oh, wait, no, no, no. Not this way. Um... Let's go to the housing. And let's see... Nope, nobody in there. Hmm. I guess we should finish the conversation with you and see if anything happens. So how's this new routine working out? Well, you two just take a chill pill already. Our routine's a secret. Then maybe don't practice them in public, Trillo? I'm going to take the ventriloquism world by storm. It'll be a revolution. That sounds incredible. Well, let me make one thing clear. I'm not going to take on the world just because that jerk said we should. You sure about that? That jerk? Max Galactica. The former should aim for the world. Who does he think he is? Trillo. Seem really be or you seem to really be fired up about all this. It's the competition because, again, he's trying to marry a human. Who's 16 years old. Well, he is a ventriloquist dummy who I believe is made to be a child, puppeted by a 31 year old man. Uh, so I have your blessing. All right, sure. Sure, if there's ever a clone me, you have to, you gotta make clone me legitimate. All right? This ain't no one night stand. This ain't no fuck buddies thing. You gotta be going steady with my clone, all right? You gotta treat my clone right, but you got my blessing, Jimmy. He needs to realize that he isn't the only one who can conquer the world's stage. You're right. You're right. Mark my words. I, Trillo Whist, will win the Grand Prix. You're the man now, doll. I hate this. So what do you do for a living? I shove my hand into the reel of a wooden six-year-old puppet, honestly. I think paper cutout shot is the closest I roll to a clue. Ah, uh, cool. I'll get started in so and sweet. We will exclusively make out in front of you. I can't with you, Jimmy. I can't. Row, row, row your boat will be the key to a glorious victory. Um, not the rain in your parade, but wouldn't a more mature song be best? Hey, you gotta start somewhere, right? Don't screw this up. You gotta be a part of this, too. Okay, so we finished talking to you. I guess I can examine around here and see if there's anything. Step ladder, blah blah blah. I don't know that there's gonna be anything important in here. Is there anything here that'll help? Not a clue. What's there? Let me see. Blah blah blah. Okay. Let's see here. Hey, you were all good, man. You were all good, Victor. Appreciate you coming by. It's always good to see you, man. Have a great rest of your day and have a fantastic weekend, my man. You rock too. You rock you, <laughs> and remember, touch your balls. It's in some alternate universe now, so let that sink in, all right? Fine. That's fine. It's not actually me. 
Again! It's a clone of me. It's not actually me, so I don't care. Alright, let's see here. I know I probably should be reading these things, but I don't feel like we're gonna find anything. Um, uh, but, but it is you! You said it was you! I said it is me, but it's also not quite me, so it's just weird. To be Eiffel Towering someone with myself! Uh, Mr. Me, or it's me, but it's me, now you're getting defensive about said clone, I can't. I said you can do it, Jimmy! You have my blessing to fuck my clone! <laughs> Excuse me. Go legitimate while fucking my clone. Cause again, I'm a bougie bitch. You gotta be treating clone me right. Okay. Let's see. I'm a little unsure. Cause I know we already looked at all all of this stuff. So I'm trying to see if there's anything new. I don't think so. Oh, wait a minute, what's that? This one's the same. Nope. Okay. Hmm. What might we need to do? Also, I feel like I said the frick word in there somewhere and I forgot to reset the timer. Oh! We got a person! Alright! Welcome to the wonderful, the fabulous, the cafeteria! Gosh dang it, stranger. You just had to clip it, didn't you? Yikes. He's in an awful good mood. Alright, you know what time it is. Riddle time! Frick. Meh. Dang, this streamer is breaking his own family-friendly rules. I can't help it. I'm not good at following my own rules. You know, that's fair. I, I did fairly well expect you to do it. Why does everyone cry when they eat Mexican pizza? Oh, this is going to be mildly racist. I don't like where this is going. Come on, you can answer this. It's easy. Because cafeteria Mexican pizza is possibly a weapon of bowel destruction. Buzz! Wrong try again! Okay, what do you think, girly? Um, I got it. Okay, what's your answer? Uh, I see what you will about Mo, but at least he, you know, that's fair. At least he didn't try to marry a 16-year-old. Because they're in the cafeteria? Exactly! It's an incredibly sad place, that cafe. Ah, I hate you. Can you go Dymo? I hope you did it so I get to have the full confidence of knowing that you were put to death. I did it! What's going on? He's being too nice. Today's been a really crazy day, hasn't it? You're telling me. I didn't think it was going to be so tough. Tough? Yeah, it was a tough crowd. That's what you call a crowd that refuses to laugh. Uh, one day clowns shall rule. I refuse to admit it. For instance, it was such a tough crowd this morning I had to smash watermelons. Hmm? I told them all a great story and even greater jokes, but no one busted out laughing. You can use the fame no shoes, no shirt, no service joke. Yeah, exactly! How can you not laugh at stunning comedy like that? Are you 100% sure about your testimony today? I saw what I saw, I swear! That creep just... Flew through the air. It wasn't exactly flying, per se. It was more like floating. The silhouette of his face made me positive it was Max. I don't see a psyche lock, so he must be telling the truth. Huh. Okay, now that he's here, let's go see if... Maybe there's something going on inside here. No. Hmm. Let's see if Maya has any thoughts on what we should do. So let me just really quick. Oh, come back, there we go. Drop the secret game name or all your clones will go to Jimmy. Jimmy can have him. Jimmy can have him. Is 
It's not just one person who could do it. Let's see here. Everyone's in do, 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 do. Special assistant with the press mark. Uh, uh, There's something I'm missing. <laughs> You're still not done with this case. I'm trying my best, Russ. I am. Uh, what if you're a clone? That would be weird. That would be weird and confusing. I'm just I'm just trying to go back to the circus. Please send help. Alright, was there something else that I could talk to Trillo about? Like, I'm... I'm kind of at a point of confusion and uncertainty. Not, I'm not reading any of your stuff. Oh, wait. Okay, maybe I made the right choice. What do you mean? He showed me his bus, too. Well, let me tell you, that thing is enormous. It's in the picture, I think. Oh, wait a minute. Was the, was the bust of Max the murder weapon? He'd make us worship it every day. You might as bow to his greatness. He's got a big bust. Wouldn't mind hearing more about Max's bust. Not that I'm into that sort of thing. Phoenix, it's okay. We know you got a thing for Edgeworth and Edgeworth is gone. It's okay if you want to find someone else to replace him. Everybody's got to move on. Max's bust should be on that small table over there. Damn. There's nothing over there. It was Ben, uh, who would use a bust as a murder weapon, unless, of course it is. Ben was the murderer, because if you remember right, Ben ended up getting hit over the head with a bottle of wine. Even if they're terrible, in this here cafeteria. <laughs> um, so Ben would have been probably angry in the moment, thinking about vengeance, and the statue of Max would have been right there. Oh, really? Oh, yeah! Hmm. When was it? I'd say about five days ago, all of a sudden. The bus disappeared! It disappeared? If you want to see it, there's a photo on the bulletin board over there. Max just had to put the picture up. Huh. Hey, this thing is really cool. Nick, Nick, I want someone to make a bust of me. Sure, as long as I'm not paying for it. Okay, let's go ask Max about the bust. Is there anything else this place, or that's changed about this place? Nope. Nothing's changed that I can see. Why would no one have called out the bust earlier? Wonder if he's actually thinking about this, or if he's setting up a bad joke. Nope. Nope, I'm drawing a blank here. Quiet Mo is a good Mo in my book. Oh, I've got the modern with kids with the dab, huh? Shaking my head, Sean has <laughs> sold himself to Epic Games Corp. <laughs> I guess there really aren't any things or other things that have changed, huh? Well, there is one teensy tiny thing that does seem different. Tell us. Tell us. It's a joke, Nick. Don't fall for it. Well, on the morning of the crime over on the bulletin board, this piece of paper was posted on the center. Piece of paper? It's torn, so I don't know what it said, but I can see its title. Yikes! It says to the murderer. M m murderer? Yep, that's what it says. But the rest of it has been ripped off. And I don't know who posted it. Um, when did you find this? The morning before the murder. Why did you hold this? Okay. Before the murder? Yes. The ringmaster was killed the night after this paper was discovered. Who in the world posted this thing? Nick, I think we better follow up on this important lead. Alright, let me save. We still got a little more time. 
Let's see how close we can get to finishing this day's investigation. Go to the entrance. I don't want to show it to them yet. I feel like Trillo and Ben should see it last of anyone. But let's go back and talk to Max about the bust. And also about... Oh, wrong one. But we'll talk to him about the bust. And also about the note. Fabulous. Would like me to sign this for you? Okay, that was a pit. Fuck. I cursed! No! Do you know anything about this note? The morning of the murder is posted on the wall. It's posted on the wall in the cafeteria. I, I hope you know Grimton. I refuse to try and do these voices in ASMR because frankly, I don't know that my voice can do it and I don't want anyone's eardrums getting blown out. So we're just going to have to deal with ASMR Sean Rambles and I will not be distracted. Outside of for this next like 15 seconds while I talk about not being distracted, I will not be distracted. I am on the verge of greatness. We have made so much progress today and I am on the verge of not having to wear a clown makeup to go with my clown costume. I'm not doing it. I will not do it. I am going to win. I am an unstoppable force and I will not be defeated. <laughs> I do know all about that note. When I read it, my heart certainly skipped a beat. Your heart skipped a beat? While I was enjoying my morning tea, Ringmaster and company entered the room. And company? Yeah, progress towards sex ed. I guess it wasn't really a company. It was just the Ringmaster and my sweetie pie. When the Ringmaster read the note, he turned an incredible bright red. All of a sudden, he tore it off the wall and shoved it into the pocket of his tailcoat. So that's the white note. Why didn't we, I mean, I guess we didn't have a reason to check it till now. Really? Out of curiosity, what in the world was written on that thing? Let's see. Uh-huh. Oh, I don't want to steal the fun from my sweeties. Go and find out on your own. I'm sure you can find it somewhere. You might also want to ask my sweetie pie princess. All right, perfect. We're making progress. I went to the wrong place again. We're gonna go to the room. We're going to see. No, 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 stop. Examine the tailcoat. Hey, do you see that? There's a scrap of paper shoved into the pocket of the tailcoat. Yeah, no, we literally know about this, Maya. It's been pointed out multiple times and we just talked about this. You know, Got a feeling I know what that is. I bet it's the other half of the note that Mo gave us. So let's hurry up and check this thing out, Nick. What do we got? I knew it! If it's perfectly with the other piece. What does it say? What does it say? To the murderer. I have conclusive evidence of what took place. Meet me at 10 p.m. tonight at the Lodging House Plaza. What? Tonight at 10 p.m.? That's when the murder took place. Now we need to find out who called out the ringmaster. Okay, that's a big thing. That's a real big thing. I'm going to save. But let's ask Trillo about the note. Taking a look at this. Ah, uh, um, uh, I, I, I'm not. Uh, uh, it, it's. I guess we won't need you to look at it after all. Well, that was helpful. Oh, never mind. Okay, so Ben, you are of absolutely no help. Great work, kid. Thank you for everything. Let's. uh... Oh, hey, Gumshoe, you're back. Detective Gumshoe, I'm sure I did a good job as usual. Well, I am done with the investigation of the acrobat. Finally. But with Miss Von Karma. Uh-oh. Oh, poor buddy. Nick, what is that? That beeping sound? Huh. 
It's Miss Von Karma. Huh? Every time I hear that sound, she's usually not far behind. Some sort of page or something? If you don't mind, pal, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. Quick! See ya, pal! I didn't know that gumshoe could run so fast. So much for being a flat foot. Never seen a grown man so afraid of a girl still in her teens. Well, let's go inside. It's freezing out here. The one's biting is ow! Is biting his lashes from a whip? Yay! Von! 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 Karma! She really did appear! It was a real battle today in court, wasn't it? Uh, is Discord down? I... Discord shouldn't be down. Everything should be good with it? Why, what's up, Reese? Is it... Is it not letting you do something? Like, it's, it's still pulling up fully normal for me. Um... For, yeah, no, I got no problem. Well, I have no problems with desktop, but desktop has also already been open. Let me try opening mobile. Yeah, mobile works fine for me. So Discord's probably just having some weird selective issue. Because Discord is a giant pain sometimes. That's weird. Let me... I'm even gonna double check and make sure that it didn't like I don't know. Everything still shows up completely normal. I have no idea what's going on for you with Discord. I'm sorry, friend. Okay, good. I'm glad it's up and Discord is so weird sometimes. It was a real battle in court today, wasn't it, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Did you have to jump out and scare us like that? What can I do for you? Tomorrow will be the day, the day my dreams finally come true. You mean the story of defeat at your hands making the national news? Ha! National news. You possess such a small sense of scale. The global news, Mr. Phoenix. Right. Your miserable plight will be known internationally. I wonder what the final bring account switching to the mobile app. I really hope they do it soon. I think she might be overestimating the importance of a win by just a smidge. What do you want, Von Karma? Miss Von Karma, it appears you got your hands onto something big, huh? Ha! I'm amazed you picked up on that much. Anyone could. Couldn't hide that look of victory with ten paper bags on your head. I've got conclusive evidence and a conclusive witness. Need any more hints? Let me guess, it's the acrobat who was also the murderer? A uh, conclusive witness. You must mean the acrobat, right? I'm putting in the summons for him to be called as a witness as we speak. It's the final nail in your coffin, Mr. Phoenix. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get it already. You want to beat me and destroy me. Can't worry about her. I've got to try and find out more information myself. All right. What else? Why do you keep giving Nick the evil eye? It doesn't matter if you prove the defendant guilty tomorrow. Nothing will be able to bring back your dad. You know, he died because he killed people. And then lied about it for the longest time. And faked so, so much evidence. My dad. You must mean the esteemed Manfred von Karma. Of course. Your dad. I know you miss him. Enough out of you. One more word. You'll get a root or a mouthful of whip. Now... When did I ever bring up my papa's name in this or any other conversation? Then... And what's this revenge thing you're talking about? You wouldn't understand, Mr. Phoenix, right? I have to see him again. One more time. Oh! Oh, it's edgy! Him? I'm sure you know to whom I refer. Miles Edgeworth. What? Edgeworth? Mr. Edgeworth? M-Miles? Edge edge Edgeworth? Miles Edgeworth. Why would you even bring him up? You haven't forgotten, have you? Do you know who it is that trained the gifted prosecutor Miles Edgeworth? Manfred von Karma! Exactly right. It was my papa, 
fucking hate her. I cursed! That means that Edgeworth was right again. Miles is like a little brother to me. Huh? Little brother, but Edgeworth and Nick are the same age? You know, he's a lot older than you. Edgeworth. A man who inspired me to become an attorney. I fought against him in a few cases. But a little after that case was over, he vanished. Hey, you go get yourself some rest, Brees. 11 p.m. is definitely not enough to make you an old man, my friend. Thank you for hanging out. Have a wonderful, wonderful night and a great weekend. We'll hopefully see you next Tuesday. It's your fault he's gone. Huh? It's the truth, isn't it, Mr. Phoenix Wright? I... I... Nick, what does she mean? Wait, I'm sorry, what? Oh, wait, no, no, no. They're talking about a metaphorical death, right? Edgeworth was never quite the same after that case, and then... The case after that one. He never set foot in a court again. Okay, it's a metaphorical one. Cool. And then one day, he just vanished. All he left was a simple note at the prosecutor's office. Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth chooses death. Oh. That was one year ago. It was a few months after you left to go back home. Mr. Edgeworth, he's dead? I don't believe it. He's still alive, I'm sure of it. Somewhere in this world, he's still alive. Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth chooses death. Of course he did. You ruined his reputation as a prosecutor. You effectively killed the prosecutor in him. Just like your victory muddied the honorable name Von Karma. It's... I didn't do anything to muddy the name. Your father was an absolute monster. I'm going to find him, and then I'm going to teach him his rightful place with my own two hands. Nick! Um, about Mr. Edgeworth? Maya, I already told you this once. Don't make me do it again. Don't bring up his name in front of me again, okay? Nick? Miss Von Karma? What? I don't know if you're God's gift to prosecutors or not. But I've had about enough of you. Him too. What? What in the world happened? Hm. This dog is all barking. Nope, I... He's already been defeated. Nope, I have not. Regardless, I have nothing to inform you two of today. Tomorrow will be the greatest courtroom battle this country has ever seen. Nick! Let's go. We need to talk with the performer on the third floor. I'm sorry I brought it up, Nick. All right, let's go talk to the acrobat. And this will probably be the last thing that we do. Why are you in a wheelchair? I'm confused. This throws a wrench in everything if you actually do not have the use of your legs. Or does it? Uh, hey, you go get some rest, Nico. It was such a pleasure to have you here, my friend. I'm sorry again for the cursed things that you had to hear. Get some rest and have a wonderful, wonderful weekend, my friend. It is always such a pleasure to get you to join us, Nico. You must be Phoenix, right? Y yes! Pleased to meet you. I'm Ken Dingwing. But here at the circus, everyone just calls me Acro. What's up, stranger? What's up? Mr. Acro? Um, how do you know my name? The detective told me. He said you'd definitely show up here. Acro, you're a member of the circus as well? That's right. I mainly performed on the tightrope or the flying trapeze. Nowadays, all I perform in is my wheelchair. Oh. Oof. Wait, but then why are you still employed here as the acrobat? And how do you have... A third floor? I'm confused. I have so many questions. Acro, why did you join the circus? When I was a kid, my parents failed miserably at business. 
I'm okay. I see blah, see blah, blah, blah. I did not know he was disabled, but also I am not ableist. I don't put it past a disabled person to commit murder. All right, there's no winning in this situation, so I'm still saying that he's the murderer because he's the acrobat. And one night, they decided to run away from it all without me. The only person who was willing to take my parents' place was the ringmaster. The ringmaster took such incredible care of me. He was truly a lifesaver. It seems like the ringmaster was truly a saint. He was where he was. So I decided to do something very important. I decided that I would devote my entire life to finding a way to repay him. And now, I've got someone who paid him for other good in his life. It's such a shame. Sometimes I think that he was almost too kind. Perhaps he was too kind to his performers. Perhaps he was too kind to his daughter. Huh. I wonder if he spoiled Regina. Regina is so cute. She's truly a princess. Truly a princess. Are you sure that's a good thing? Um. Hmm. Do I detect a hint of a grudge against Regina? Um, I'm sorry to ask, but why are you in a wheelchair? The nerves in my legs were badly damaged. And you can't walk now? Can't even stand now. And since I live on the third floor, I can't even leave this building by myself. That's awful! The accident happened during an acrobatic session, right? Um... Oh, deathbed. Psyche locks. Doesn't seem like Acro's injuries were acrobatic in nature. What's on your mind, Mr. Right? Well, exactly when were you injured? It's been almost six months since I was hurt. I injured my legs during practice. Six months ago. What in the world went on at this circus then? I stopped by yesterday and noticed that you weren't in your room. I was at the hospital all day. Ah, you went there for rehabilitation? What about the murder? Of course I knew about it. I spoke with the police before they allowed me to go to the hospital. Before I got the call from the prosecutors, I was convinced that it was all a dream. Huh? I just couldn't believe it. When I saw what I saw, what you saw? Jeez, that sounded really ominous. What did you see, Acro? At night, I was in bed sleeping when I heard a loud sound coming from below my window. I see. The scene of the crown was right below your window. That's when I looked out the window. What did you see? So don't mind the honkingly loud snores in the background from Gimbal. It was flying straight up into the air. He? Maximilian Galactica. What? That's what I thought he'd say. You're absolutely positive that it was Max you saw flying. I am absolutely sure. There's no doubt in my mind. N Nick! Okay. So I feel like we're gonna have to figure out more about the... M I was gonna say murder, but more about the event that caused him to be paralyzed. Let's present the Magatama since we can reload our save. I want to see just what we might need to learn. And this might be where we end things for today. Alright, let's see. Injured. Personally, acrobats are prone to all sorts of injuries. Acro, you're really telling me that a practice was the cause of your injury? I don't think I have anything. Okay. Let's see. Mm. You know what? Let's.
Let's just do two things really quick. Oh. Do we have her? Got a bad feeling about this. Uh-oh. Ah! Nick! Wonderful! Today's special must be Filet of Phoenix! Stay cute. Alright. Oh, Nick, Maya, it's you guys. I'm sorry, I guess I made a mistake. Uh, mistake? Yeah, a little one. I was thinking of teaching whatever primate was out there a lesson. But I was expecting more a human or a monkey than a human. A monkey? Okay. I think this is the perfect spot to stop. Because we're going to be able to figure out what exactly happened at the beginning of next stream, which I think is probably the best bet because we all know me. I'm I'm going to forget pretty much immediately after this stream ends. Um, but thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out. I'm, again, genuinely surprised that we made this much progress. Even with all the distractions, we're still making progress. We're getting there. I might still do this. We got three weeks. We're, I think, almost pretty close to done with investigation day two. And then we have a court day, and that's it. I just have to finish that all in three weeks. It shouldn't sound as difficult as it does, <laughs> but I know who I am as a person and as a streamer. So I can admit that I'm a disaster. Um, but we are gonna go ahead and end things here. Um, as always, on the way out, we're gonna be serenaded by the man himself, Victor, AKA Halo there. Do yourself a favor, go listen to the man's absolutely fantastic fantastic tunes you're not gonna regret a second you give um i was gonna say so i mentioned a secret game so i'm gonna put the stream schedule out either tomorrow or saturday probably saturday um but since we decided not to play who's lila all the way through every single ending because it was gonna be tedious um happy tuesday everyone touch balls um what we're going to be replacing it with for those of you who remember mr Mays. There was a game that I briefly touched upon while we were playing it during that first stream. I was like, you know what, should we should we keep it with similar titling and play this game right after? We didn't, because also we didn't play Mr. Maze all the way through because there was some weird, cringy, like, anti-SJW stuff that was coming in. It was like, oh no, this this feels like it's gonna hit some weird, like borderline racist territory. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna just stop before it gets bad so we can still at least like semi enjoy the meme of this terrible game. Um, but for those of you who don't remember, I mentioned a game that we would jump to after it. <laughs> Son of Mr. Maze. Um, that game happens to have sentient corn. It happens to have a Russian teddy bear sidekick who is fully animated movable um walks on his own uh we are going to next stream which will be tuesday we're going to be playing a game called maze spelled like the other word for corn it looks like it's gonna be fucking hilarious and also probably really stupid and i cannot wait to check it out with you all i know it's corn time it is corn um, but we're, we're gonna check out Maze. I hope it's awesome. It really sounds like it's a cult hit of a game, um, and it might be an underrated gem that we can enjoy the hell out of, but we got that to look forward to on Tuesday. Um, again, if you haven't already, if you have any suggestions for hot clown costume, because next week, probably near the end of the week, I will be putting the poll together to decide on what hot clown costume I will be getting for spooked over and to have permanently. Um, so make sure to send your suggestions into Discord. But as always, thank you all so very much for coming and hanging out. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your Thursday. Have a wonderful Friday, weekend, Monday, and start to your Tuesday. And I can't wait to see you all Tuesday afternoon. I love you guys. In the arms of the derp, fly away to the derp stream from this dark, cold retail store. Seriously, screw retail and the endless derp you feel. You are pulled from the derp of your silent eternal derp. You're in the arms of the 
dark May you find comfort in this stream Welcome to Sergeant Herb Terpstrand. <laughs>